Today the topic is autographs, and we're wondering, could we convince a celebrity to describe their autograph over the phone, so, where it actually would be have to be used uh, and, and useful in the moment? We've, um, we've picked him a manic um, yeah. as a celebrity, just because he happened to have been, we noticed, we jumped online, he was on the Colin Jackie O show mm. not long ago. I'm going to call up pretending to be a producer from the Colin Jackie O show. Say that he didn't sign their celebrity wall, mm-hmm. which is a made up thing. I don't think there is a celebrity wall, <laughs> yeah. but it sounds like the kind of thing that the Colin Jackie O show yeah, would have. have some uh, see if we can get him to describe to me over the phone what his autograph looks like so I can just forge it onto the celeb wall. Will he go for that? Hello? Oh, is that Tim and Maddock? Yes. Hey, it's Nathaniel here from the Colin Jackie O show. I met you a few weeks ago. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, how you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, what's great. Hey, um, listen, sorry to bother you, but uh, um, when you came in, uh, we had photos of you and stuff, and we didn't get you to sign them for our celeb wall. Right. Yeah, we always have they always have the guests sign their photo or at least sign their name on our celeb wall. You probably saw it when you were in there. Yeah, okay, okay. So cool, here's cool. the thing. We're actually just about to, we laminate over the celeb wall every time it sort of a bit fills up so we can protect the signatures. And we're just yeah. about to laminate over the part. I'm standing right in front of it. I've got the Sharpie. Um, just need you to describe over the phone how you do signature just so I can sign it. So no one will know it's not you. Is it a big T? Yeah, it's a big T. I'd I, I pro- probably rather sign it myself, man. It's so fine. It. I'm right here. Just T-I... Yeah. Is it... Is it like a, is it a squiggle or can you read it? Like how is the how would you say the T is? Yeah, no, no, no. I do it myself. I can't. I can never. You can't do. I can't sign by proxy, man. Just, I got to do it myself. I could, uh, just 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 describe it. Nah, does I the, can't describe my signature. Oh, it's easy. Does the does the horizontal bit of the T go the whole <laughs> way along? The, it's no, it's not easy. Russell, <laughs> Russell, that's my signature. Russell Crowe described his over the phone. Oh, did he? It's not a big deal. It's just there's hundreds up there. It's a, it's a very big deal. I'll just make one up then. Yeah, make one up and uh, send me a photo. See how it goes. It'll probably be better than yours. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's Hamish and Andy here, Tim. Oh, and well done. Well done. <laughs> I knew it, you boys. <laughs> I knew it. I really <laughs> thought we were close to getting you. How would you describe your signature? Um, Actually, Tim, let's do it now. Describe it to me and see if I get close, okay? Oh, we're, we're, yeah. we're doing a, a little test to see, um, and you stayed very honourable well, look there. at that. So everyone knows now, if you ever come across an autograph from Tim and Maddock, it's <laughs> the real deal. Oh, it's the real deal. This guy, Russell Crowe. Did he actually describe his? No, no but you probably figure out Russell's. <laughs> but he, Tim, see. If you could, could you actually describe it now? And I'll have a crack at it. We'll put it at our website, yeah, and then we'll put yeah. it next to your real one. So just, right, right. See if okay. I can do another thing. Describe it to me. What okay, is it? So, yeah, so it's T with the the top kind of stroke is slanted up. Yep. And right. like at what angle? Forty five degrees. Yeah, about forty five. Okay. Yeah. And, and how long does the top stroke go on for? Does it go on for the length of omatic? Oh no. No, that would be cool, but no, it's just a normal T. <laughs> it's, 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 it's pretty big. Yep. yep. And, and then a small I. And how? What percentage of the vertical part of the T is the I? Like ten percent. Ten percent. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. We've got to go to a song. We'll let you guys continue to do this. <laughs> yeah. Thirty percent. And then how does the? What's the, the happy M. hour? Hey, we should <laughs> Eddie. We should point out that Hamish's uh, attempt at Tim O'Matic's signature is now on the web, as well as Tim O'Matic's actual signature. He's written back. Can I just say, in my defence, yeah. Tim O'Matic withheld a bit of information about his signature when he was describing his signature to me yeah. over the phone. He's got a jag back. Yeah, I know. He's got I know an underline. You've been upset about that. You don't, <laughs> why don't you mention the jag back, O'Matic? <laughs> anyway, which I um, assume is your last name. <laughs> And uh, it's the people's show uh, here, and when someone comes to us with a gripe, uh, it's almost, we're contractually obliged to help them. And that's what's happened Mm -hmm. to Ruby. It's a a, a slightly elongated story, but it features Tim O'Matic, who has has been on this show before. Mm. She... Or tricked him to being. (laughs) We've duped Tim O'Matic into being on the show before. And then there was a little... I don't think I talked about this on air, but there was a period of time where I would keep getting missed calls from Tim O'Matic. Really? Because I got his phone number. Did I ever tell you that? Every now and again, I wake up in the morning and Zoe would go... What's Tim Maddock been calling you twice? Where I was like, I have no idea. Accidental calls? Never got around to calling him back oh. um, because I just was like, well, I'm sure if it's desperate, he'll get in touch with me. <laughs> but then I got a message from him. Yeah. 
I like a few. I got a few of these mystery calls and I just like, never answered. Yeah. And he said, "Oh, sorry, mate. Your number was under one of my friends. I've been. It must have looked a bit weird. I've been calling you a bit." Yeah. And I said, oh, "Didn't even notice, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Amatic. <laughs> don't mention it." Anyway, so Ruby unfortunately hasn't ha- come that close to Tim Amatic because. Yeah. Uh, she was in year six. She was learning a dance. This is only a year ago. Yeah. To the song "Set It Off" by Tim O'Matic. Yep. They were, she was made to practice this dance routine every day. The guy, the dance school she was at, was run by a guy from Culture Break, I think. Okay. And which might be a dance crew or a sure. musical group. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's friends with Tim O'Matic, and the guy said, "Look, you guys are dancing so well. I'm going to show Tim O'Matic a video of this." Wow. And then Tim O'Matic, he showed it to Tim O'Matic. Tim O'Matic, very out of the kindness of Tim O'Matic's heart, yeah. Tim O'Matic recorded a message to the kids going, that's so good, yeah. I'm going to come in and just dance with you guys for a bit. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going to come in and check out your moves. Yeah. She, uh, Ruby, young Ruby that writes in, she was so excited. She carried and she says, I carried a notebook and a Sharpie for the remainder of the school year. Just in case Tim O'Matic Because he's said, I'm coming in one day. Can't tell you when or where. Ooh, that's how Tim O'Matic rolls. That's quite dramatic. You might, that's Tim dramatic. You might notice a crack in the wall and I'll just karate kick through it, dance yeah. for a bit, jump out. Yeah. And I wear those yeah. pants like a little bit like Aladdin sometimes, so I'm a bit like a genie. Yeah. So he has gone, I'm coming in, um, but he never came. Ooh. She says, uh, she, this is, these are her words, Mr. O'Matic, and not mine. Thanks for ruining our hopes and our dreams, Tim O'Matic. Wow. At the end of the I email, shall never dance again. <laughs> <laughs> Angry feet have got no rhythm. I said to myself, Ando, this is crazy. I had Tim O'Matic's number. Um, maybe I'll call him. I'll get the autograph for her. And I thought, yeah. oh, but what? You mean know, he's so un- he seems unreliable now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from what we've heard exactly. from Ru- from Ruby, sorry, yeah. from what we've heard from Ruby, um, he's fairly unreliable. Fairly unreliable. Yeah. Then I thought, hang on a sec, I can do his autograph. Yes, I have the ability to do Tim and Maddox's autograph because he was on the show yeah, a little while ago. Very much against you doing. Let's not think about that. Let's okay. listen to back when he was on the show. Just need you to describe over the phone how you do your signature, just so I can sign it. So no one will know it's not you. Is it a big T? Yeah, so it's T with the the top kind of stroke is slanted up. Yep. Yeah. Remember that he was yeah. describing his autograph. I tricked him. I said I, I was just going to do it on our celebrity wall in yeah. here, and he'd left without the idea of that. He'd left the station without signing celebrity wall. Just describe it to us, yeah. and we'll put it up there. Trying to get his autograph right over the phone. Then to double check if I got it right, he sent me a copy. Yeah. He sent me a that's photo of his autograph. That's how he got his number. I've, yeah. He texted it to yeah. me. Yeah. Here I am. I can make Ruby's dream come true. Yeah. But why stop there? I would like to launch on the show. Mm. If you send 10 bucks in, mm. I'll send you out Tim O'Matic's autograph. <laughs> it's H. Blake's Tim O'Matic autograph bonanza. Yeah. We'll put details at the website. Can we put a PayPal link at the website, Jez? Get our web get the Jez in here quickly. Come in, Jez. Just we'll put a link. Can we put? But a I'm link? not sure how much Tim will like this because. Don't worry about that, Jez. Can we? Yeah, hundred percent. Is yeah, that easy yeah. to do a PayPal link? Yeah, we can do anything that will help Tim. No, it's not helping Tim. Yeah. It's helping me. It's uh, helping. I'll, I'll keep the money uh, just because I'm doing. I'm not the... sure whether you should be responsible for a taking money off listeners for a fraudulent uh, autograph. It's not fraudulent. It it's, is. They know it's me doing Tim and Maddox autographs. But some people might want that. But they then might go and sell it to memorabilia stores. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. For a thousand dollars, and that is why I'm helping our listeners. You come to me, I hook you up with Tiamatics, almost so perfect a- autograph, and you can go and sell it for a thousand dollars to a memorabilia store. And that is a huge return on ten bucks from PayPal. Jazz, when will are you going to send up? rubies out for free? Right, in ten minutes' time. In ten, 10 minutes. minutes' time, are you going to send rubies out for free? You, Andy, will shout you, Ruby. <laughs> Ten bucks. I can't start discounting immediately. The business just launched. Okay. It's the happy hour, Amish and Andy. Amish and Andy. We'll if you it. want Tim and autograph for ten bucks. That's a good way to get rich quick. That's an amazing way to get rich quick, Ando. But it's not the only thing we'll be discussing on the show. However, mm. I should point out, we do have an update on my get rich quick scam yeah. that had started on Tuesday, Has where it- I discovered I was sitting on a gold mine because I can do Tim and Maddox signature perfectly. Yes. And I've been um, selling them for singing, 10 bucks. dancing, uh, superstar, uh, Tim O'Matic. Global, also, global sensation, Tim O'Matic. Also uh, a judge on X Factor, I think. Yep. Yeah. Or Australia's Got Talent. Yeah, so anyway, I've been able to... <laughs> I've been doing his signature for cash. Yeah. And I will let people <laughs> have you, know... Have you got close to the million dollars in, in a half a second? Like, oh, uh, I haven't counted it all up, <laughs> but I will later in the show and let people know how it's going. How's your business going, Ham? Selling Tim and Maddox autograph for $10. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Well, it's not Tim and Maddox autograph. Yes, it is. It's it looks like his autograph. Oh, it's a it's a, a close. Really, it, it, when it comes down to autographs, if you if it if my argument is if it, someone would believe that's their autograph, mm. then what's the diff? Well, the diff is that something's authentic that Tim and Maddox did. And when you you've think got a when you think about of, but when you think about autographs, yeah. isn't the whole thing like, well, Michael Jordan signed this? Okay, yeah. if I believe that, then it's as good as if he no. did. No, 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 no. Yes, mem- 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 memorabilia stores would have well, a real. If they believe that. it, then it's you know it's as good as it is. Well, if someone would pay money for it, then it becomes authentic. You're asking people to pay ten bucks for it at the website at PayPal. You're going to send it out because you know that, that you're was my pretty idea. good at doing Tim and Maddox. I read a X book. Factor Judge Tim and Maddox autograph. I, we should backtrack a bit. Yeah, he sent it into the show and I was able to forge it from there. Mm. I read a book called The Four Hour Work Week. They recommend starting up online businesses and yeah. stuff like this that, quote unquote, yeah. take care of themselves. Yeah. This is just a cool way to just make money while you so and I are sleeping through the if night. If you're making so much money online, why did you have to take your business to the street today? Two pronged attack. I mean, Apple <laughs> Apple does very well online, but they also have Apple stores. The second weak prong oh, is after this. Hey, we're just talking about your business plan that you started up. I, I did start a new business, and I started it the other day on the show. I started it online. Mm. Um, send us ten bucks. Go click. There was a link on the in the website for, yeah. to PayPal uh, the show ten dollars, and I'll send you Tim and Maddox autograph. No, you'll send uh, Tim and Maddox autograph as done by Hamish Blake with and no if, input whatsoever or permission from Tim well, and Maddox. There was input. He provided the original. Well, he has signed stuff before that you've seen. <laughs> and let's not get into too much of a sticky mess over whose <laughs> it is. The bottom line is, if you believe it's Tim and Maddox, and other people believe it's Tim and Maddox, it, it therefore it is Tim and Maddox. Authenticity. <laughs> can be earned through belief. No, it can't. It can't. Uh, Hamie, <laughs> you did have a trestle table down outside the supermarket yep. uh, in the food court today. I was so to... surprised because normally there's other trestle tables down there selling yeah. random bits and pieces. Mm. You know, so you got front and centre. Good spot. No one else was down in tri- trestle table row today. Yeah. Well, there was one other that you became aware of later Oh, that'll on. become a bit apparent later on. I honestly didn't see them when I went down there. I thought I had <laughs> the zone to myself. You had a wonderful poster there of Tim and Maddie. I essentially had a, a cardboard, price point, 10 bucks. cardboard thing up behind Tim Maddock, autograph, $10. Then I just had a photo of him, a poster of him, and just said autographs, $10. I'd written a few words like official, you know, just to kind of give the vibe that he was cool with it. I wasn't there. And I had two stacks, oranges and greens. You could pick your colour. This is how it went. Tim Maddock. How's it going there? Do you want Tim and Maddox autograph? No? Okay, think about it. Maybe later. The uh, time is 11.21am. I'm set up in the high foot traffic area near the Baker's Delight, just outside Coles, uh, in between 3 ATMs. So you do get a lot of foot traffic here, and that translates to sales. Got a young girl over here. Could be a big T-O-M fan. What's your name? Jolly. Jolly. I'm Hamish. How are you going? So we've got Tim and Maddox autograph in green or orange for ten bucks. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay, you need your mum to pay. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no limit per customer as well, so you can have a green one or an orange one. Mother's Day's coming up if you want to get a Tim and Maddox autograph for Mother's Day or Christmas, any number of religious holidays, because Tim and Maddox is popular across all faiths. So you don't, no matter what. Half of life you walk, Tim and Maddox wants you to have his autograph for 10 bucks. So I guess we just come to that point of the transaction where the money needs to change hands. Don't 12, but 12 and you haven't got a job yet. You're only, are you only 12, Tully? And you don't have a job? All right, look, I give you one for free, but I'm not really meant to do that. Normally it's 10 bucks. Tell your friends you paid 10 bucks for it, okay? Okay, good on you. Don't spread the word that I'm giving away free. If Andy asks, say you bought four for full price. Yeah. Okay, thanks, mate. Okay, thank you. Bye. What's your name? Gary. Gary, come here. Uh, how are you doing? How are you going, Gary? Look at that. Feel the quality of that card. Oh, yeah, good quality. That's good quality. And that's Tim and Maddox autograph. And you've got a green one, you've got an orange one. Ten bucks. I think you've done it. You think I've done it? What's, it's the, what's the diff, though? I mean, it, it, an autograph's an autograph. You've seen his face. Get caught up in the excitement. Timomatic. So are you interested in Timomatic's autograph? <coughs> Only 10 bucks. So oh, well, you can see here, oh, the official. I'll give you some grapes. <laughs> some grapes? <laughs> How much did this bag oh, of grapes cost? $1.30. Yeah, right, let's give us a bag of grapes. <laughs> Cheers. 
There you go. Do you want green or orange? Green, mate. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy it. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's your Tim Matic autographs here. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Do you know who Tim Matic is? This is his autograph. Oh. Selling it for 10 bucks though. Is your mum nearby, Anthony? No. Maybe you go get some money off mum? Yeah. Yeah? You, you get, go get some money off mum and come back? Good boy. Get one for your mates too. Good boy. So nothing so far. Um, well, I got the grapes. You, <laughs> yes. You do have grapes. Got a bag of grapes. Crazily enough... Hamish did actually earn some cash after this song. <laughs> One person clapped. God bless passers by. <laughs> Partway through um, recounting Hamish's attempts to take his business from online offline, you started selling mm-hmm. uh, Tim O'Matic's autograph, or you doing your best approximation of Tim O'Matic's autograph in the street today. Yep. I had a few sales dribble in online, but I was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was there's been some red hot interest, and yeah. I thought. Maybe people need to see. It's very hard to get noise online mm. because there's a lot of other things. So that was an awareness cam- awareness campaign. Was oh, it was just a lot of other clutter online. Yeah, and I thought getting down into the food court of the, the shopping center underneath where the station is here. Yeah, that would probably be the best way. I mean, there's other people selling stuff down there. Coles, for instance, is selling groceries. Yeah, um, and Baker's Delight are selling baked goods. But I Bread. thought if I could set up a trestle table, yeah. I could sort of capture passers by and put my sales tactics. Yeah. To work. Well, they were dubious sales tactics because I had rocked up to work a little early just to see what you were doing. I didn't know you were spying on me. Yeah, I was <laughs> spying on you. And I felt I definitely had to step in at some point. Hello, madam. Just selling Tim O'Matic's autograph. Do you know who Tim O'Matic is? No. No? He's a very famous, he does everything. He sings, he dances, he plays piano in the rain. I don't know if you've seen his film clip or not, and he hates... If, you, if I purchase, it's going to the donations, or where are they going? Yes, it's going to the donations. $10? $10 for one of his autographs. Yes, you get money out of the ATM. You know that $10. Thank you so much, madam. There's your autograph from Tim Matic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, 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 look who it is. Hello. This lady just bought his autograph. I have been watching you. I watched that. <laughs> I've been sitting over there in the uh, lotto section. Um, you want his name on the back? Yeah, because my daughter really knows everything. Yes, of course. My age. Like, Matic, genuine autograph. No, you can't say that. Genuine looking autograph. And there you go. Before you go, this is not for charity. Mm. What for this? This is for his personal but I Personal this, will. I will start a charity soon to buy some sleeves for Tim and Matt. And can you please give her your money back? The money back. Sorry, madam. You can keep the autograph. You can keep I the autograph? Like, oh, really? It's a genuine can get some looking. Over here, please? I've got someone harassing my stand. But yeah, keep the autograph. Just take your money back. Can you get okay? white hat out of here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, mate. Oh, yeah, come over anytime. It just cost me a huge sale. Yeah, you saying your charity. Center management? There is. Center management for the Tim O'Matic autograph stand, please. <laughs> there, is, there is another booth, no yeah. more than 30 metres away, yeah, which town. is trying to raise money for the Special Olympics. Whose autograph are they selling? <laughs> well, you're not selling yours. You're not selling. You're selling. <laughs> See when I swapped it for a bag of grapes? What, you swapped? I swapped the autograph for a bag of grapes. <laughs> So, yes, Andy, business is looking good. And I actually had a $10 sale. I reckon these Special Olympics guys need the money a bit more than you do. There's enough pie for everyone. (laughs) It doesn't look like it. Here's what I'm going to do because I'm a wonderful guy. I'm going to donate my Timomatic autographs to the Special Olympics. So why don't we go down there and I'll give them the remaining autographs that they can sell for 10 bucks. Sure. Let's do that. I'm closing up. Thank you. Hello. I've um, I was actually I'm actually a stall. I'm a competitor to you guys. Oh, you're a competitor. Yeah, yeah sorry. Because you're just selling autographs. I'm selling Tim Maddox's autograph for yeah. ten bucks. But then I found out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, then I found out that you guys were over here doing a great job. Yeah. And I was wondering if you would like me to donate Tim my business. Oh. It's. Um, it looks um, like Tim Maddox's it's autographs. It's, it's, it's Tim Maddox's autograph as done by Hamish Fight. He sent me a picture of it, and I'm so just, you just copied it. So yeah. You, well, I've, so what we're doing, we're I was ins- fake. No, so, uh, yeah. I was ins- inspired 
Mott inspired. That autograph was inspired by you. It's your own inspiration. He, he inspired me to do it. <laughs> so it's based on a true, based on a true autograph. <laughs> <laughs> so keep up the good work, guys. Right. Thanks, um, fellas. We've enjoyed Jeez. this, this do do donation of That's right. 17 That's autographs. autographs oh. yeah. Inspired by you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That was a really happy ending. <laughs> and it? I got some grapes. So you're folding? Is it the business insolvent now? Is it are you done? No, I think the business has gone to a higher level because I, like a lot of high-powered CEOs, mm. had an epiphany that it's not all about the money. <laughs> Isn't it better to make a difference in this world? Then, like, how much more money do? How many more <laughs> tens of dollars do I need? Yeah. Just stacking them up, stacking them up, stacking them up. Okay. No, give it to the Special Olympics, Andy. <laughs> I found my purpose in life. You felt you. I've done your, a bloody Bill Gates. You found yourself the Hamish, embarrassed. <laughs> Hamish and Melinda Foundation <laughs> gladly donate the Timomatic autograph business to the Special Olympics. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. Flog as many Timomatic autographs as you can, <laughs> and all, may those kids have a happy and fun time. <laughs> it's all we've got time for today. Another self clap. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hamishandandy.com. You'll never know who was clapping. Forward slash topics for anything you may have missed. There are also video up online today of Hame taking his business to the streets. Hamishandandy.com. We will catch you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good one. And uh, just before we wrap up, a little bit of business. Um, you might remember, cast your mind back to the heady days of March 18 to 20 of this year. Mm-hmm. The period in which my booming e-commerce business... Oh, that's right, yes. ...selling Tim Maddox autograph online was up and running. No, selling a, a look-alike of Tim and Maddox autograph. Well, that's his autograph. Well, it's not done by him. It sounds like it's done by him. I didn't say it was. <laughs> no, I know, I know, but it sounds like it. Welcome to business. Okay. I mean, Nike Air sounds like you could fly, but you can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it, I'm selling Tim and Maddox autograph. Mm-hmm. And people were hot for it. Not true. You didn't have a single uh, E um, <laughs> sale at all. And you went to the streets and one lady bought it because she thought it was for charity. You were there. You were standing next to me. She just said, look, as long as I get the autograph, I don't mind. I'm a huge fan of his. No, she, this is you, a great you, business you lied, idea. You lied to her and said it's for charity. So she bought two. I stopped explaining yeah. to her. I didn't yeah. lie to her at all. I just sort of now, hal- I halted my truthful an, another, revelation. Another death trying to raise funds for the um, the uh, Special Olympics, the, uh, the Paralympics. So you're saying, Ando, you would like to not share <laughs> two da- two in, doors the, down. in the spoils mm-hmm. from my online e-commerce business. I'm... 14! 14 people PayPal'd us 10 bucks each, Ando, to the PayPal account I set up. 10 bucks p- each per, per, per one. autograph. 140 bucks I made, mate, <laughs> sitting on my sweet patootie, <laughs> selling Tim <and> Maddox <laughs> autograph. Now who wants back in? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're going to be done for fraud. And I just... 12 so, in Australia, so one I, in the US and one in the UK. So I just want to be, explicitly say... I have nothing to do with this operation. Tom Noteman. Tom Noteman, a UK-based Tim and Maddox fan, mm-hmm. knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get Tim and Maddox autograph yeah. done in orange or black on a card. Yeah, right. And so have you sent them out to them yet? No, I've got to do them after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hang back tonight and, and do my job. Yeah, right. Mate, if I kept this up, each, I mean, that was only in two Ask days. Ask them to leave testimonials for That was you. only in two days. When they get, That's when, 70 bucks a day that I'm just making selling Tim Maddox autographs. When they get no it, wonder he's got all those chains and hats and high tops. Imagine how much he's when, getting. When they, when they receive them, yep. um, ask them to leave. Can, on your website, uh, can you get a little testimonials thing? Uh, um, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jez, can we do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd just be nice to, once they've received them, to see how they feel about them. Do you know what you do? You know, have you ever done that thing like where you buy something from a shop or Mm. sometimes on flights you do it and then a week later you get the online survey and you go, oh, no, I must have somehow given my email address. I might do that for these guys. I might call them up afterwards and go, hi, it's Hamish from Tim and Maddox Enterprises (laughs) Worldwide. Just wondering, yeah, are you enjoying your autograph? You enjoy the experience. It's about time for a reorder, we notice. (laughs) Because <laughs> it is easier to hit up your existing <laughs> customer base than to make new customers. That's all we've got time for today. <laughs> HamishDaddy.com for anything you may have missed. Our podcast is How there. would you like the opportunity to buy one, Ando, right now no, for five bucks? <laughs> Thank you. Um, please go there and, and, and check out the topics. They're always going up. Help us build the people show. We will catch you tomorrow. Hey, um, that's the good news. So good luck, everyone, going out and grabbing those. Um, the bad news is for your venture. 
Um, I'll remind you, I'm not sure how much work you've been doing on it. You've got a kid at the moment, obviously, that might have slowed down progress of your business venture when you were are giving we, out Tim Amatics. Yeah, are we doing Tim Amatics yeah. autograph, yeah. my online business that looks after itself? Yes. Yeah. yes. No, I haven't slowed down one peep. Um, Orders have slowed down. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure if the, you can still click on the link at the website, but yeah, if you want Tim Amatics autograph, no, I'll do it for you. It's a, it's, a, it's a replica. No, lines are lines. No, no, no. <laughs> like, no. A shape is a shape, and if I do it you, so you, well, it is Tim Amatics autograph. If you're giving someone an autograph, they ex- assume it's from the person who is written on the page. Buyer beware. I'm, no. just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that's the shape. The shape of lines mm. in that specific arrangement, that's Tim Amatics autograph. You're just saying that, eh? But, and the fact that I can do it, um, you know, so the victor go the spoils. Well, then Ra- I should well, have well, the right to sell it if I can do it. Well, Rachel Bailey's saying that you're a you're a, a bit of a, sh- a, a shyster, I suppose. Did she say that exactly? No, but she said she's torn. Why? She was happy to receive. She was one that bought one. I was selling yeah. it for ten bucks online. Fourteen people bought them. Thank you for the money. Um, she. <laughs> I'll put it she in got, the island fund. She received it on the back of a happy hour coaster. Yep, so which you, I thought was a nice little gesture. She, a you, are you using the joint company's yeah, yeah, I'm stationery? Using company merch. Yeah, company merch to send out. We've a, got a thousand of them. Yeah, but for your for your own gain. I just thought it would be a Secondly, nice value add. Said, well, she says it devalues it. Why? Because it's clear that Tim O'Matic wouldn't send it out on a happy I hour. I never customer. promised Tim O'Matic would sign it. I just said <laughs> no, they'd be getting she, Tim O'Matic's autograph. If she was going to pass it off. And she also says the signature is terrible. Hamish Blake, you owe me $13. What's I want 13? my money back plus interest. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a complaint on your hand, Sam, and every business needs to deal with complaints. Has you got a phone number there? <laughs> yeah, I think oh, she's... Why don't I get my customer service representative to call her? Who is your can customer you... service representative? That is me. We're a very small business. <laughs> um, have yeah. you, can you give it to Jack? Yep. Jack, have you, can you... Yeah. I've given it to Jack. What's her name? Her name's Rachel Bailey. Uh, watch and learn, guys. This is how you deal with <laughs> customer complaints. Okay. She might be pretty rolled up, mate. You realise you, you want to make this worse. You better have something in, in hand to deal with it. Nothing in hand except... Just send them another one. I'm just thinking. Hello, it's Rachel. Rachel, hi, it's uh, Derek from Hamish Blake Autograph Enterprises. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Great. So everything's great. Um, we're just going through our customer base at the moment, <laughs> just double checking that everyone's over the moon with their autograph. You received your Tumomatic autograph? Oh, I feel like I should get a refund or something. No, we don't do them. So <laughs> are you just everything. Hamish, come on. <laughs> I can put you onto him, but he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's busy thanking all the other customers who are also very happy with their autograph. So, just pop you down for a... Are, we sh- are you sure? Totally satisfied? Is that the box I can tick? <laughs> no, I asked for a refund. <laughs> well, yeah, we with don't... compensation. We actually don't do them. Um, what's the Give pro- me my $10 back. No. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, it doesn't seem like you're getting your money back, I'm afraid. Yeah, we don't do refunds, Rach. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like another one? Yeah, no, check us another one. Yeah. <laughs> we, can give you, we can give you another one for half price. <laughs> no, Rachel, <laughs> don't fall for it. Do fall for it. We can use the money. <laughs> but, don't bug one of your other 13 people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. No, so, yeah, put me down as satisfied and I'll send you out um, another one with an invoice for $5. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Happy Rachel. Happy Hour. Happy Today the topic is fairs. And speaking of things being fair or unfair. Yo. I think something needs to be levelled with everybody out there and repeatedly levelled, Ham. 15 more coasters signed by you impersonating Ching, Tim Maddox's autograph. Not impersonating, I can just do his autograph. <laughs> yeah. I've and learnt, I taught myself a trade. How's this different than a Sparky yeah. going to TAFE, learning how to do Sparkying, yeah. and getting out there and doing some Sparkying, mate? You ever go with Sparkies? No, I'm not having a go with Sparkies. <laughs> <laughs> Better not, mate. <laughs> what I'm having a go at is people buying memorabilia. I, got, I taught myself Timo a Ma- trade. I think it's Tim O'Matic's <laughs> autograph. I mean, if I could do John Butler's autograph, doesn't, You're mean, welcome I, to. doesn't mean I can <laughs> send them out. I happen to be selling online Tim O'Matic's autograph <laughs> for, for $10 a pop. Now, the 15 fact that more got sent out. That's 150 more clams. Profit. Tax in, free. In the joint account. <laughs> Well, I probably should pay tax on it. <laughs> I just like yelling tax free after you get money in the hope that there is some sort of rule. Like if you yell it three times, you don't have to pay tax. Hey, are you convinced that people know? We're up to 290 bucks now, mate. I know. We are. I'll be paying for this island myself single handedly. 
Are you convinced that the customers are happy? Are they People aware? Love it. I'm not People sure. Love How them. do you know that they love them? Are yeah, you doing you any tell. You doing any follow up calls? Um, no, we we'll like keep a, our like a, like out. a prestige car company. They often do, they? do a sale and then they oh, ring cool. up and go, "Can you do a Fruit survey basket. for me?" <laughs> um, no, just uh, look. I'm just keeping my feelers out there. Um, I guarantee you 100 percent satisfaction. <laughs> No, you don't. I do. We've already had someone that's been dissatisfied. And then we won her back, didn't we? No. Sent her another one. <laughs> well, I think you sent her another one expected her to send $5 for you. I invoiced her. I sent her. I sweetened the deal with a, a half price because she'd already purchased one. Yeah, right. A half price Tim and Matic autograph. If, Look, Anna, it's not, I'm, this isn't just free money for me. Yeah. I have to sit in here and do the signatures. <laughs> and then I've give seen, them to Jez who has to mail I've, them out. I've seen Jez, you. do we charge for postage and handling or is that included? It's included. So that's coming out of the joint account. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, Might have to Jeremy's, Jeremy's time, it's not that valuable, well done, let's Jess. be honest. <laughs> but I'm not sure whether that's necessary that we're using Jeremy's time with this. But I'm We're more... making money out of this. Yeah, but we're tricking people. We're not You're, tricking You specifically them. are. Okay. Do we have someone that we just... Re- Do we have a number for someone we recently sent? Call any of my customers. I'll okay. back it. <laughs> yeah, cool. You don't actually have the numbers, do you, Jay? I do. Well, oh. Jeremy's probably... <laughs> <laughs> Call the customer. They would have gone... They would have got them by t- probably yesterday. Oh, the, the I'll most... give you a choice. Uh, do you want Dylan, Louise, Ben? <laughs> you or... pick, Jack. That's how yeah, confident this I is am. Ben. Okay, Ben. A oh, random, no. a random call to Ben. Okay. You've got to, you've got to approach this as a customer satisfaction advisor. All right, call from them. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not there. He's off enjoying his coaster. Oh. Hello. Oh, is that Ben? Yes. Ben, it's Tigrance here from the Timomatic Autograph uh, Proprietary Limited Customer Satisfaction Hotline. How are you? Good day, mate. How are you going? Yeah, great. Yeah, just calling up to make sure you got your got your autograph. Yeah, I did. I was yeah? spewing, though, that uh, it was my PayPal account addressed to me, Dad, and uh, huh. he used the uh, coaster last night, so it's now kind of worth, no- worth nothing. <laughs> I was on the back of a coaster, was it? But you're loving the autograph? Oh, I'm loving the autograph. Yeah, but the, uh, be. The, uh, the 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 uh, coaster uh, limited edition coaster is now worth nothing. Don't worry about it's the like, coaster. Worry about the autograph. That's what you paid for. <laughs> well, it's, well, it's on a ruined it's on a ruined coaster now. So. <laughs> oh, well, you ruined it. But how many? How <laughs> many I didn't ruin it. Uh, uh, it. Uh, who knows? Uh, how many people would you say you've told about your positive experience with the company? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, great. Um, and both my parents. <laughs> yeah, great. Would you would you like to complete the set? Um, no, don't buy could, another if, one. If ben. I could offer you <laughs> autographs from any other members of Timomatic's family, <laughs> would no, you be interested ben, in those? Don't fall for it. Set ben, of five for ben, ten dollars. You really <laughs> five for ten bucks. Five. For... <laughs> yeah, because they're not famous. Obviously, I just hey, that'll to... cost us more to get to him than you actually make on that. Mm. Don't go to high on the fact that you might. Yeah, no, I, What I, if I, I could send you out? Um, postage was a dollar thirty. What, what if I could send you out uh, on an A4 piece of paper the Timomatic shoe print? Shoe print. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How much? No, he doesn't have it, Ben. Ben, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't, 20 bucks. He doesn't, have, <laughs> ben, he doesn't have it. Hey, Ben, just quickly, because yeah. I mean, we've got to finish it up. Thanks, you, thanks for being satisfied, though. Show. Did you pay for postage and handling, or did, did was that sunk cost in the $10? No, you, I think it was a sunk cost, so yeah. you guys absorbed that one. Yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> God, just Another double, happy customer. <laughs> just got the double Shout it from that. the rooftops, Ben. Get on, make sure you get on Twitter and Facebook, tell everyone about it. HamishNanny.com if you also want to buy Timomatic's autograph. <laughs> Thank all the money goes to a good cause. That's all we've got time for this afternoon. Thank you, Ben. Not many people get memorabilia and have their dad use it as a coaster <laughs> straight off the bat. Oh, there's my Michael Jackson glove. Where yeah, is it? Dad. Oh, Dad's resting his fosters. Dad's on doing some it. gardening with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, don't, don't, don't. I mean, I, I do put them on the back of coasters as a little bit of a bonus. Yeah. But um, don't use the coaster. Hamishnetty.com. <laughs> uh, help us continue to build the show. You can also go there. Let us know if you'd like Ricky Martin's autograph too. <laughs> okay, we'll do, you're working. That Go around the Maybe ground. I'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I need more people at the factory. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Have a good one. That's that's great news. <laughs> it's great news. Taking a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> we just want you to study with a clean head for the rest of the semester, and we'll probably send you a coaster with Tim and Maddox's autograph on it. <laughs> <laughs> Recommend a retail price ten dollars. It's the happy hours, Daddy. Thanks, Dad. Hey, you and I do like finding a niche in the market. Oh yeah, and then suddenly going, yes, here's a brilliant business idea. And making hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Tim and Maddox autograph business <laughs> yeah. is would have to be the, the shiny premier example. example. Shiny so example. So far, twenty nine happy customers. <laughs>
<laughs> and counting. HamishAnning.com if you would also like Tim and Maddox autograph for 10 bucks. Not actually, again, stressed as for legal purposes, it's Hamish doing Tim and Maddox autograph. You don't have to go over the top with explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I didn't say we're getting Tim and Maddox to do his own autograph. I'm just saying you can have his autograph. A replica. <laughs> it's, it's just lines. <laughs> <laughs> it's a squiggles. It, it's it's that that pattern of squiggles is his autograph. Does it matter who does it? I would love. I would have mentioned this. I love the idea that he doesn't give out too many. Try to keep it rare. And we're flooding the market. Uh, anyway, I know for a fact he does give out a lot. <laughs> no, he doesn't, guys. So that's why you should buy one. Um, um, Pam, today the topic is bad jobs. Mm-hmm. You've got one. I got a good you're, job. You've been trying. No, not this job. This is fun. <laughs> but uh, you've been trying to sell Tim O'Matic's <laughs> autograph. But you, you're doing. Them. You mean I'm doing a bad job? Yes. I'm doing a good job, Ando, because I've learned how to do Tim Amatic's autograph. HamishNanny.com, you can go there and buy it for $10. <laughs> it's not Tim Amatic doing it, we should stress. But it is his autograph. <laughs> yes, it looks like his autograph. It's his autograph. <laughs> well, anyway, we can't go into this again. Anyway, we're on different sides of the fence here uh, over whether or not I should legally be able to do this. A lot of people are buying it. A lot of people are happy with the autograph they've bought through the website. <laughs> a lot of people aren't as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I've made hundreds of dollars for yeah. our end of year party. That's right. Um, this is what I was thinking, though, Ando. Isn't it about time that we... I'm just selling them one at a time. And through the 10 bucks. It's non-negotiable price. Taking up a memorabilia, lot of, it should be, you know... I'd like to sit down and just do a stack yeah. and sell it to a memorabilia store. Yes. That's what I think we should do. Get them in a shop and yeah. that'll they'll fly off the shelf. So I thought maybe... And you get a better price in a shop. Call, mm. We've got the number of a store here. Jack's about to call them. Just going to see if this guy's interested in mm. Tim Amatic's autograph. It's uh, a memorabilia shop called Legends and Heroes. It's our personal favorite. I just, I just hope he doesn't push me too hard on it. Has Tim Amatic actually signed it? <laughs> Good afternoon, Legends and Heroes. I'm speaking. Oh, yeah, is that Legends and Heroes? That is correct. Yeah, g'day, mate. My name's Pinky Stilson. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, mate, just wondering... Uh, if you'd be interested in stocking a bunch of uh, signed stuff from t- a TV star, signed stuff from TV star. Yeah, it's a. Uh, if it, do you know Tim Amatic? No. He's on X Factor or Australia's Got Talent. Oh, okay. He's one of the judges. Pretty pretty cool guy. Okay. Channel Seven, big show at the moment. Now I've got access to a lot of his autographs. Yeah, look. I, well, I don't. To be real, to be really honest, we don't sell very many uh, TV stars. Mm. They're not popular, honestly. We do, we get no, this guy calls is... of footballs every day of the week. If I could get him to sign sports stuff, footies, footy boots, no, basketballs, wouldn't sell. wouldn't sell. Basketball boots, wouldn't sell. A denim vest, wouldn't sell. A, uh, dance shoes. The only thing that would sell, if it, if he's famous as you say he is, a photo. That's the, yeah. That's, that would be anything that would sell. I could get him to. I could get him to sign a, a giant photo of himself. I, well, I sorry. I could get his autograph on a giant photo of himself. I couldn't get him to sign it. Okay. So, Look, I think you're beating up the wrong path. To be really honest. In in the memorabilia world, is there a difference between him actually signing the photo and just having his autograph on it? Because I can I can get. I can get his autograph on a lot of stuff. I wouldn't be 100% if I could actually chase him down to, for him to do it, but I can. I have access to his autograph. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, but it's still, you're going to have problems selling it, I can tell you. Uh, so TV you, stars and... Well, yeah. what, so what, what level of celebrity do I... What if, you know, like a Hamish or Andy, do you need it to be that? Would that sell? Oh, uh, no, not really. Yeah. No, we never get seriously. We never we sell probably they're pretty popular. I don't know, hundred autographs a week in auctions and yep. What if I could and, get and, and we never been asked for Andy and Hamish ever. Yeah. Oh, what? really? No. I yeah, find it it's just tough to believe. So you should no check I again, should. check again because no, people we, would we, ask. People would we, ask for them. Huh? People would ask for them. I would have thought. Well, and so how much are you going to charge me for an Andy autograph? Nothing for an Andy one, but Hamish should be worth something. Oh, how much? So, how much would the Hamish autograph be worth? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mate. Now, sorry, it is actually Hamish and Andy <laughs> from the radio. <laughs> well, now, your... I, like your, I like your choice, but not your chances. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hamish has been actually selling 
Timo Maddox autograph because he thinks he does it perfectly. Well, I mean, it's interesting why? to talk to it's interesting, <laughs> it's interesting to talk to someone in the memorabilia world. Why would he not sell a new cell? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good point, Em. Yeah. Eh? I don't know. I was just trying to I was just trying to give you the lay of the market. <laughs> Slightly biased, I think. <laughs> um, but we can point out that we've actually sold around four hundred and fifty dollars worth of Timo Maddox I've, autograph I've with sold Hamish it, doing it, and I've made it clear that I'm doing the autograph. I can just I can do it perfectly. You know, in the end of the day, what's the diff? <laughs> oh, well, it's good. A certificate of authenticity, you don't really care about that. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, I could provide one, but it wouldn't be authentic. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, want a, you'd want a certificate of authenticity about the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> mate, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, well done. Thanks, good mate. Idea, mate. Okay. Cheers, mate. See you, guys. See you, Bye. Mate. Happy hour. Bye. Bye. And while we sit out on another landmass that isn't the People's Island, looking over at our island, Ham, there's other important issues we've got to get to in the I'm meantime. S- I'm so excited, Ender, that tomorrow we paddle out. Mm. But we've got to wait. Hey, m- we've got something to bring up. Tim O'Matic. <sighs> yeah. Now, you've been selling... I've heard whispers. I've seen emails. Yep. I've seen emails alerting us to a bit of activity from last week. You have been selling Tim O'Matic's autograph. And I continue to do so well, at hamishandandy.com. It sounds like... You're selling his autograph. You're I selling am. a replica of his autograph. I'm selling his autograph. No, you're selling you doing his, I can your do best. His, I can do attempt. his autograph. Let me tell you this, Ando. Yeah. If 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 Peter can make chairs yeah. and then John can make chairs, mm. John's just selling chairs as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Even though he's making the same chairs as Peter. Yeah, okay. Well, let me He's put... not selling Peter's chairs. Yep. John made them himself. Yeah, sure. And I'm making the autographs myself. I, that's a nice analogy, but what about this? Then? Really good. One, I put this back I've seen to you. a lot of nods from the if, crew if around Michelangelo here. If Michelangelo has made the statue of David, yes, yes, and then Davo <laughs> makes the statue of David, a self statue, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yes, carves himself. Which one is the original? And the I best? don't think Tim and Manic's autograph <laughs> is a historic work of art of mankind. No, but some people might cherish the fact that it's real and genuine from the person themselves. If not... you just showed me that statue and you didn't tell, tell me who'd made it, yeah. I'd. I, I'd say you're getting caught up in branding if you only like Michelangelo's <laughs> one. I'd say to you, just appreciate the statue for what it is. You don't have to know that it was made by one of the celeb sculptors. <laughs> okay? Good point. Well, Davo's well, obviously done a pretty good job if he's done it as well. Well, I mean, people have been buying uh, your attempts at uh, Tim O'Matic's autograph. They're not attempts. I just can do his autograph. God has given me a gift. Mm. And that is my business. I chose to turn... I've got a trade. Mm. Okay? My grandparents, everyone in my family always wanted me to have something to fall back on in case radio didn't work and I got a trade yeah. and I think that's a great thing I think that's to be celebrated it, it, my trade is being able to do a squiggle the same way that Tim Maddox says he does a squiggle yeah. now I'm not saying he's copying me and I'm not saying I'm copying him we're <laughs> both <laughs> you've copied him <laughs> We're I'd... both able to do the same thing. He did it Isn't first. there enough pie for everyone? Yeah. Well, maybe and that's not. The, that's the business I've chosen to go into. $10 a pop, hamishandandy.com. I'll do Tim and Maddox autograph for you. It's a great deal. I've got 57 happy customers. Mm. He's a singer dancer, <laughs> for those who don't know who Tim and Maddox is. Um, <laughs> the station website, and I, I blame our station a little bit. Why? Because they tweeted... On Hamish and Andy. Um, That's good for business, though. That's fine. What'd they say? <laughs> Hamish's business selling fake. What? Tim O'Matic, the one. That's his tag. Autographs is booming. Maybe someone needs to place a bulk order. This is where Tim O'Matic, the one, got wind of this. And he's, yeah. re- he's actually replied. So he's onto it now. No, no. I, he, re- he replied. What did he say? Do I get commission? Double question mark. Wow. All right. I got... Yeah. Okay, got seven it. words for you, Tim O'Matic. Yeah. Buzz off, Tim O'Matic. Mind your own business. <laughs> now I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I'm assuming Tim O'Matic is just one word. Yeah, I mean, it's, like yeah. th- it's actually three words. It's hyphenated. But it's two words yeah. and an O. Yeah, yeah. Hyphenated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> assuming Tim is a word. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, buzz off, mate. Yeah. Get your nose out of my affairs. Would he have an argument to say that it is his affairs, though? Considering that you, it's just my business. It's got nothing to do with him. <laughs> well, Keep to do walking, with him. Tim O'Matic. I'm redoubling my efforts. Sale, sale, Timomatic autograph, eight dollars a pop. Wow! I'm slashing prices and I'm moving more in your face, Omatic. Gee, how much is he selling his for? Well, he's that's a real throwdown to the competitive. I've ever heard one. Jeez, suddenly we're having a price. Buy four. five, get one free. <laughs> yeah, Jack. I said it. <laughs> Jack raised his eyebrows like, can you afford to do that? 
<laughs> yeah, I've run some numbers. We still come out ahead. That's happy, it. Buy five for forty dollars. Get to make six. a loss during this time of crisis. Six for forty dollars. Six the, for forty dollars. Where the real guy is coming in, putting his hand up and saying, "I might also sell my own autograph." No, you won't, mate, because I'll take you to court if you try. So you're going to sue Tim Amatic for selling his own autograph? My idea first. <laughs> Stick around, everyone. Six for 40, hamishandy.com. <laughs> We've got to go to a song. Your lyrics No next. refunds if you've already bought one for 10. Your, your lyrics next. If you have any ideas for what the anthem should do should be like for the people's island. Hamish Oh, I know someone who's not getting a good mention in the anthem. And down me board this Arvo, and I realise I haven't even thought about Tim O'Matic. Hmm. Chickens, I've been knitting doilies all bloody day. It's high time I catch up on. I sing, I dance, I judge. I'm true with it. Oh. <laughs> well, everyone's agreed to drop everything because it's three o'clock. And Hamish and Andy have declared today's topic is. It has to be ham. Tim O'Matic. Not interested. This is Hamish and Andy's happy hour. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Mr. Andy, with you. One of us okay. is a little bit grumpier than the other one. Let's do it, man. I've got a lot of respect for the guy, yeah. Tim O'Malley. Yeah. But I don't get respect for him poking his nose in where it doesn't belong. Well, hey, some would argue that you started the poking. <laughs> I'm just doing a thing. I'm just doing a normal thing as an Aussie starting a small business. Okay. Um, for people who don't know, Tim O'Malley, uh, he is a dancing performer yep. um, who... Uh, Sings occasionally. He yep. also judged on Australia's Got Talent. Yep. I think he started on that show as well, um, or X Factor, one of them. Anyway, yeah, uh, to, it's very tough to keep up with all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he went from Good on him. star of reality of reality TV show to suddenly judging on it. Good on him. And Hamish knows how to do his autograph perfectly. You've been we can selling both. Do his autograph. You and Tim. Who did it first? Who cares? Tim O'Malley did it who first. Who knows? It's his. I'm not going to get into an argument and trying to go back through all the documents to see who might have done it first. He did. The thing, <laughs> the thing that we both know is today, present day, yeah. 2014, anyway, we can both do it. Tim is That's on. That's the facts. Not only is Tim on to you, Tim O'Malley, that is. I'm not but, scared. But the business itself... Is having problems, Sam. I don't think problems, it is, problems you're ignoring. I've sold <laughs> over a hundred Timomatic autographs. <laughs> yeah, I know. That money goes straight into our joint account. I know. For our Christmas party. For you to spend on other rubbish stuff. Well, I'm, you've got a lot of making. I have up some to do. ground to make up because I accidentally invested in him, us in Bitcoin. And also a giant at, at their peak. All right. Here's the. I'm the only one bringing cash into this operation. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm working my guts out signing all the. I did seventy today. I noticed. Had a backlog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I need to level a few things with you straight after this. All right, but warning, yeah. my shields are up. Okay, happy So hour. good luck. I'm sorry, mate, but Tim O'Matic has to be discussed today, in particular your business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I sell, I'm able to do Tim O'Matic's autograph. I sell it for $10 a pop on the website. Over mm. 100 people have very wisely bought this <laughs> wonderful piece of Australian television memorabilia. Yep. Um, quick special. I've just um, buy five get one free <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Get uh, yeah, that, you, you said that last week, and no one's bought one. Get six autographs for the price of five. Yeah. Um, or it was a, actually it's buy four get one free. Is you it? can get five autographs for forty bucks. Just make sure you know what you're selling. <laughs> well, do you know what? You can have buy four get one free, and you can have buy five get one free. Because <laughs> if you're the kind of person that's coming and dropping forty or fifty bucks on the site, yeah. I'll, I'll sling you one free for any of those orders. Okay. Anything cool. above four, you get one free. <laughs> buy seven, get one free. What about if you buy eight? Two free. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's uh, if you buy eight in one order, I'm yeah. only giving you one free because yeah. you should have been smart enough to put through two yeah. separate orders of four. We take care of the postage and handling. Yeah. That's on us. Well, no, uh, Trav does a good we job. Send, we send it through the station here. <laughs> no, loosely on us. That's on the building. Yeah. Um, I, I do chuck them on the back of a happy hour coaster. That's just as a little added bonus. Yeah. It's a great autograph. Yeah. Um, I just did seventy this morning to fill a bit of a backlog. <laughs> how are the um, how are the customers? Are they enjoy them all. It seems like everyone's fairly happy. Obviously, there's a few people going. Oh, I would have preferred to get it a bit quicker, but you've got to understand. Mm-hmm. I'm a very very busy man. No, you're not. Andy's sitting there just looking at news.com. I'm the one working away in the in the <laughs> office doing all the work. Hey, here is some feedback for you. Still, and it's not great, mate. This one from Phil Remington. 
I purchased a signature from Tim O'Matic. Well, it's not really <laughs> yeah, It's Tim O'Matic's signature. We do need to make that clear. About one, he didn't do it. About one or two months ago. Really? For, for, for a laugh. Yep. Haven't got one yet. Yeah, I've spoken to him. He's not fine. laughing. <laughs> That's not no, I called Phil this is just from, after he sent that. This is from Beak. Graham <laughs> Kell. To the CEO of the TimOmaticAutograph.com. Present. <laughs> Hamish, I purchased a kosher with Tim O'Matic's autograph weeks ago and it yeah. never arrived. Graham didn't what, get his. What's up, Trav. man? I thought this was a reputable business it is. you were running. <laughs> I was even considered buying shares. You no, haven't floated yet. But Can we you might. please give me an ETA? Cheers, yes. Graham. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Trav, can you get out to Graham, please? Now, stat. Emma Wafer from Camden. I'm shocked to hear this, Emma. Just, I thought you of all people. Just, the, just, I remember getting your order in and yelling at Zoe, I won't be home for dinner tonight. Um, just released, just realised it's been two weeks and I still haven't received my Tim yeah, autograph. I wasn't I'm happy starting with to the think it was a bad idea. <laughs> no, 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 Should no. Should have no. listened to Andy. No, Emma, <laughs> listen to me. I had a few goes at his autograph for you that day and I wasn't happy with the way they were coming out. I was just off my game. And now I've done a good one, I think, and I sent it out to you just this morning. Written complaints. Autographs in the mail. Now time for a verbal one. Damien, Damien, are you in a similar situation? Yeah, yeah. Damien. waiting for 14 days now, Hamish. What's up? That's not acceptable, mate. I'm I'm, I'm gutted to hear that. This is a warehousing and logistics problem. Obviously, as the CEO, I'm more of your big picture guy. What are you going to do, Ham, to make it up to Damien? I'm going to kick some heads around here, I'll tell you that. (laughs) Because I'm I'm too busy talking to the government, talking to MPs, you know, smoothing things over. I'm talking to venture capitalists. Mm -hmm. I do the big picture stuff. How many orders have been placed about? About over 100. Over a this financial year, yeah. which is an infinite increase on last financial year. Which so if it? you want to invest. So a, a, a hundred. I've counted 12 complaints. That's not you're, bad. You're, you're, not, you're running at a 12% complaint. Don't forget we've got Tim and Maddie in there complaining. One, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> we're selling his autograph. One in ten people are, ve- are fiercely upset yeah, with loosely. the service. And that's a great area. That's a great base for us to improve on. We, I pledge by the end of the year, I'll have that down to one in 20. <laughs> <laughs> and well, what, I, what about Tim O'Matic himself? He's now blowing the whistle on you. Yeah, so we're getting attacked on both sides here. We've got customers are angry. Yeah, we've got yeah, Tim O'Matic's angry. Yeah. I think I've done a great job there smoothing things over with the customers. And I just yeah. say, you order this week, you'll get it within four business days. No, it's not true. That is not <laughs> that true. can be. Please, I want no, it to be. No, it's not. It's not yeah, true. Yeah, just do it straight Trav away. can't get him out that Trav, quick. do you promise that you'll do that? No, he's not. He's shaking his head. Hard to see from where I'm sitting. <laughs> it's very clear. Two panes of glass. <laughs> so, four business days, hamishnanny.com, look for the link. I promise you guys, <laughs> I'm, all, the, all the orders I receive from now, yeah. uh, I'm putting a little kiss underneath the autograph. That's for free. Wow. So Tim O'Matic with a little kiss under it. Special okay. kiss edition. Jez, web geezer, can you be across that, please? For one week only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's so, address, okay, let's so address, smoothed, let's address uh, Tim O'Matic after no, I've got an idea for that, too. Okay. So I've smoothed things over to the customers. They're happy. Yeah, sure. And uh, up next, i got a little way to charm O'Matic. Good. Today, look, it's reached a breaking mm. point, Ham, with the business, the Tim O'Matic autograph business <laughs> that you've been running. And it's not a breaking point. Well, this there's is pressure first... from a lot of sides. It's just pressure. It's and a little know, bit like... I'm a diamond. Well, I thrive on pressure. I'm no, created by pressure. You're more like... When you apply pressure Skywalker to coal... And Han, and Han Solo. I started as a nugget <laughs> of coal, and I've been pressured into a diamond here. You've just... You've... <laughs> I think... Placated the complaints from the customers, and we Thank should you. point out um, the way that what Hamish is doing is selling Tim O'Matic, a uh, dancer performer, his autograph because yep. Hamish can do it very well. It's not actually Tim doing it; it's Hamish doing That's it. That's okay. What I've done is I've set up a cool, fun small business that's employing some Australians. It's mm. good for the economy. Yeah. Yep. I'm just charging ten dollars a pop for Tim O'Matic's autograph. I sit down, I do money. them. It's not 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 no effort for me. I just sit down, write them all out yeah. on the back of a coaster. Yeah. I give them to Trav. Mm. He sneaks them into the radio mail here, so we don't have to pay for postage yeah. and handling. Yeah. Very good. good. No overhead. No cost to us. No. And um, and the money all goes to a good cause, <laughs> which is the nickname I have for our bank account, <laughs> the Good Cause Fund. The good Cause Fund. So hey, okay, so but Tim O'Matic's like, well, where's my cut? You're selling. So off. we've had that tweet from him that a lot of people alerted us to. Have you heard from him outside of that? No, no, I think he's probably lawyering up. I think he's probably getting yeah. a number of suits well, to thing, come in and just smash the door down. That's what I thought so too. So where's Hamish Blake? So I've got to, we got to get his manager on side. Because you know Tim yeah. O'Matic, he's the kind of guy that wouldn't do anything without his manager's say Is so. his ma- manager still Mark Bund? Mark Bird. 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 <laughs> I think you're thinking of the suit that we wore Sorry, in Rockhampton. The, yeah, the men's wear place. Um, Mark Byrne yeah. is his manager. Okay. We've got his number here and I think... 
if I get burn on side, yeah. uh, and Maddox going to probably kick hey. his jaw down first to go, you hey, you got to get Hamish Blake. He put you about your approach here, man. He's a manager. He negotiates for a living. You could get burned by burn. Do you know what, though? Managers, what do they get, 10% right? Yeah. That's why I go straight to him. I offer him a whole 100% of a gift. All right. To win him. Put the number in, Jack. Outside. Hello? Is that Mark? Yes. Mark, Mark it's thinking. Hamish Blake here. How are you going? Hamish, how are you? Very good, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. Mark, it's, it's Andy here as well. Uh, we're on the hey, radio. Andy. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Thank you for taking the call. We're, we're on the radio at the moment. Mark, totally just a courtesy call. Um, <laughs> you, mm-hmm. Do you still represent Tim Amatic? I do. I manage Tim Amatic. Oh, great. Um, we've, um, I've just been involved in a little bit of a business venture lately that sort of if there's an there's loosely kind of crosses over with Tim's work, um, I just want to ring and say it's going very well. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with what it. What sort of venture, Hamish? I have been um, building his fan base through... Really? Uh, yes, through offering um, his uh, autograph to fans that aren't able to get it through conventional channels. I see. And, uh, and Tim's in on this? Yeah. No, <laughs> No, he's not. No, well, he sent, that, he's he, not on that. well, he sent me the original autograph, so I'm using that as a template. But he he wouldn't have been aware that you were then. I think he is. It's loosely aware from going off his Twitter vibe. Okay. Mark, um, so so how does this work, Amish? Yeah, this works like this. As a token of my appreciation for um, what I really, I mean, I'm aware that I wouldn't be able to be running this business if it wasn't for Tim's excellent work and his profile and being so popular. And I mm-hmm. normally the autographs are ten dollars a pop. We'll buy five, get one free. Um, recently, I've been doing, but I want to so see. You've been t- selling them. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. Uh-huh. Mostly it's postage and handling. Um, and is a forgery beneficial to the bank account? Not a forgery though, is it? Because it's 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 pretty. It's, it's a, close to one. It's a great replica <laughs> of his <laughs> autograph. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it, it, I mean, it is, it is his autograph. I mean, it doesn't really right, matter. That's forgery. I've that never come? said it's done by him. It's just that's the true. same shape as his. <laughs> that is true, Mark. Right. Would he get off on that technicality? He's never said it's done by Tim Amatic. But what do you sell it as? What's your tagline? Uh, Tim, Tim, Tim you can buy autograph. a Tim you buy Tim Amatic's autograph. <laughs> oh, well, it's sort I of like to differ on your definition. It's sort of like <laughs> selling a replica of the Mona Lisa, isn't it? No one thinks you've painted the Mona Lisa. It's just a nice piece to hang around mm. the house, and that is why. So, how I'm much in- profit have you had, mate? Oh, I'd, look at, I'd have to go and have a look at the accounts. And I, I don't want to get caught up in dollars and cents with you, Mark. What I want to do is, as a gesture, a token of my appreciation, I want to send you a giant framed one. Free. <laughs> Totally for free. I want to do it on an A1 piece of paper. How many have you printed of those? I, I don't print in my hand. Each autograph oh. is hand sketched using About 140. Industry, hand forged. Industry, <laughs> industry standard <laughs> sharpie. Forged, yeah, forged by his hand. Forged. So, Andy, can you just get a picture of that for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark, would you happily accept one of my giant Timomatics? Oh, I'd love to have some evidence on hand. <laughs> no, it's not evidence, it's a gift. <laughs> It's a, it's a beautiful gift. I <laughs> know yeah. oh, I'll accept it as a gift. I'm not paying for it, but um, no, I wouldn't charge you. Maybe no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't charge you. That's the that's Martin. a beautiful gesture. This is probably going off what I normally sell them for. This hey, re- would retail. Your not going to work. This would retail for about eighty bucks. A big one. It's not gonna, eighty. It's not going to work. Your bribery here, but Mark, I'm not saying Tim what, can't sell them. What What is your <laughs> official position for the Termatic Camp with regards to Hamish Business Venture? Oh, look, I'd have to say our legal, our legal team will get back to you. Okay. That's, That's great. That's a good decision. So we will, con- we will continue operating under those circumstances. That's good luck. Yeah, absolutely. And I, make the money, I can take it at the end. And I would like to offer you this deal. Tim may sell my autograph. <laughs> And now it's a much harder one to do, but that's just uh-huh. the way the cookie crumbles. I can't help it if he's got an easy one to do. <laughs> Mark, thank you for joining us, mate. We appreciate you taking the call. No, I look forward to more of the information. Yeah, and my gift. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Another happy customer. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And, and, and if, you, if you're very happy with it, can I put your quote on the website? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I'll write a quote for your website. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Who, who did you release your winds of glory to? guesses here. Um, you can guess. Keith Urban rings a bell. Keith Urban. I mean, Keith Urban I know was sort of doing concerts last year. Was it Keith Urban? No. Maddie, who was it? It was Kim and Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, an amazing one! The winds of glory! 
Did you get his autograph? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Have you still got it? Yep. It's on a CD at the moment. Yeah. Hey, if you lose it, go to our website, hamishandy.com. You can grab one for 10 bucks. No, I've got an authentic one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Definitely. I'm selling authentic ones. <laughs> <laughs> but I will send you an autograph. I'm going to send you another one for free. See if you like it. Show your friends. Tell them to go to hamishandy.com for them to also then no discounts for them. It's the happy $10. hour. $10. Hamishandy.com for anything you may have missed. For your complaints to Hamish about his Timo Maddie. Autograph business. Now, look, Omatic, can it, mate? I've already, I've already put you firmly in your place. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. And Hayne, we do have to talk about your Timomatic autograph business. Well, actually, I wanted to bring this up, Andy, myself, because mm-hmm. last Thursday, I think it was on the show, yep. we talked to Timomatic's manager, yep, um, Mark uh, Byrne, lovely guy, mm. had a good adult sit down with him. Well, talk he- to him about the fact that I've been running my own business um, selling Tim Maddox autograph for 10 bucks pop online, hamishandy.com if you'd like to get in on the action, buy four, get one free. And he buy allude- five, get one free. Buy six, get, get one free. free. Buy seven, seven get, get one free. free. Buy eight, eight get, get one free. free. If you're not smart enough to realise you should have bought two times four yeah. and got two free. <laughs> Exactly. So that's all about. Not if you get a penalty <laughs> bonus, but that's there. Um, that's there on the website. Yep. Uh, Tim Matic, obviously an Australian performer, singer, dancer, yep. uh, and judger, triple threat. Um, mm. He. I think judging's a threat. <laughs> he's his management definitely alluded to the well, fact that he's going to sue you. No, sue didn't. you badly. No, no. On on sue your on, on Twitter, Amad, meet, meet I, sue. Mr. Omatic got on and he was like, "Ha ha, where's my cut?" And I had a very pretty firm message for Omatic, which was, "I don't get in your business. Get out of mine." <laughs> yeah, uh, this has got nothing to do with you, Omatic. It's got a bit my business. Yep. Um, you, your name's only been mentioned in passing. Yeah. I could I could be doing anyone's autograph. Can't you like your stars? I'm doing yours. <laughs> you tried to bribe his manager, saying I offered him a gift. I said, "Look, in recognition of the fact that." I, I view this business where I sell Tim and Maddox autograph as very much separate to Tim and Maddox. Yeah. Obviously, it's got not a lot to do with him. And as a hush present. No, but yeah. as a recognition, I suppose, in hindsight, of the fact that Tim and Maddox may have played a small part yeah. in me getting the idea yeah. of selling this particular squiggle, I offered a giant A1 um, piece of paper with a giant Tim and Maddox autograph done by me yep. on it um, to the manager. I've since had a bit of a look at the costings, and yeah. unfortunately, you think it's going to be framed. Well, it's going to, cost us, big. going to cost us all the money I've made for the show so far. Well, you've been ripped off there. Surely, I mean... It's, well, A1's huge, and to yeah. frame an A1 is like and postage. 800 bucks and then deliver it. Yeah, okay. Well, you see, you're not going to do it? No. Nah. No, bro. <laughs> Well, I, yeah. I, I, I just think he, he didn't sound like he wanted it anyway. Well, I mean, I'm not going to send a giant autographed collector's edition to someone that doesn't. Lies to Tim and Maddox managers, one thing. And I'll keep doing it. And something I'll let pass. <laughs> <laughs> but lies to the customers is something that I am a bit worried about, Ham. I would be blown away if you can find an instance and of And I know lying. I feel like I'm I've always been... rattling your cage saying, hey, buddy. I've been working gotta... my ass off signing these coasters, and I'm well, the only I've... one doing it. I'm like the only elf in Santa's workshop who's working. Yeah. You're Rudolph strutting around with your big red accusing <laughs> nose, yeah. sneering at me. Well, Do some work. Pick I, up a pen, I'm just Rudolph. Worried, I'm just worried about you getting picked up by, for some lies and unhappy customers. I okay? wouldn't have thought that would happen. All right. Well, I just came across a letter that gets sent out to anyone who purchased them. I've never purchased one, so I never got this letter. Yeah, from the CEO. Yeah. I actually introduced that last time you had a little customer complaint segment. Okay. Here's, there's some alarm bells, right? First, I'm going I'm to highlight. The letter says, Dear Value Customer, it starts off saying, Firstly, congratulations on becoming part of an exclusive club by purchasing renowned Australian entertainer, entertainer Tim O'Matic's autograph. <laughs> it's not his autograph, mate. Yes, it is. No, you need to put in as done by Hamish Blake. No need. No time. <laughs> Other do. things to say in the letter. Well, it's a log letter. Looks, if it smells like his autograph, quacks like his autograph, yeah. tastes like his autograph, <laughs> yeah. sings songs like his autograph. Squiggles like his autograph, that's his autograph. Who cares who does it? The letter goes on to say it is a highly valuable piece. Yep. There's also almost certain to double in value each year. That's what my research is no, saying. It's, no, it's not. It's almost certain. No, it's not. Nothing in life is certain, but I think you could say it's an almost certainty. <laughs> you could say it's... I reckon it's almost certain not to. Well, horses for corsets. <laughs> <laughs> We've each got our own opinion, mate, but the, that letter is from a CEO and you're just a guy. Okay. You're saying it will be dispatched within a few working days. As quick as we can. Once it's passed our rigorous quality assurance procedures. Yep. 
You don't have quality assurance. Of course I do. No, you don't. As soon as I sign an autograph, I look at it, I compare it to... What have I got this one? This autograph here. Mm. This is blueprint, not for sale. So I look at the blueprint, I look at the autograph I've done, I go, yeah, it's pretty close. And you, then, and I you inspect do not take each. that amount of time. I see you. <laughs> I, I see, see you <laughs> accusing a friend. <laughs> I of, see you. And rip you've got things. no grounds because I am a wonderful, wonderful CEO and yeah. autograph engineer at the company. Well, they're still available on the website, but just stop keeping an eye on him, guys, mate. And also, you get tell everyone about the letter and the photo that they get. Well, I get a photo of you doing them. I get a photo of me signing all the autographs. Yeah. So you know it's come from an uh, authorised yeah, source. I was sitting next to you. I was cropped out. <laughs> <laughs> you know that your cinematic <laughs> autograph has come from an authorised no. autograph <laughs> no, engineer. No, 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 not authorised. <laughs> I'm, author- I'm authorised to do autographs. <laughs> no, you're not. I have just authorised myself. <laughs> no. Ten bucks. Tom Bassingthwaite Ham has emailed in. What's his problem? Or compliment. He goes, hey, boys. Recently bought some of Tim Maddox's signatures from you guys. Yes. And as I'm sure you're aware, they're on the back of happy hour coasters. Uh, that sometimes is the only available uh, piece of paper I can do Tim Maddox's signature on. As I'm also sure you're aware of the game Friends Galore. Yep. I now have two coasters mm-hmm. that guarantees you two guys retire from radio if I no, send it to Tony Barber. No, you don't, mate. <laughs> Look up your rule book. What's this guy's name? <laughs> Tom Bassingthwaite. Basso, yeah. look up your rule book, mate. Yeah. As we clearly state in the Hamish and Andy Happy Hour Manual, yeah. if you would care to download yeah. the PDS at the site, mm. it's a 300-page document yep. that outlines the ins and the outs of the games we play on this program. Because so- we can't just make up rules. Mm. They have to be written down and approved by the Australian Broadcasting Authority. Mm. If a co- And I'm reading directly from the rules here. <laughs> yeah. Rule 124B. Yep. If a Happy Hour coaster has been signed... By Tim O'Matic, or has Tim O'Matic's autograph on it perfor- signed by anyone else? <laughs> it is ineligible to be used in the collection that Tony Barber has to supersede Hamish and Andy's career and have them banned from radio. This that's, rule is non negotiable. That's great, Ham. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. And I, what I like, so I mean, it's nice that he was trying to get us on a technicality, yep. but we cannot be kicked off the air if you <laughs> add those coasters to Tony Barber's collection. Well, great. We play Friends Galore next, then. Perfect. Haim, a side business you're running at the moment is selling Tim Maddox's autograph, yes. as done by you. I'm just selling his autograph. You don't have to specify who it's done by. No, I think you do. I think that's been the problem. That's your sticking point. Mm. My, well, a lot of people's, and legally. No. Yeah. My notion very much is um, I'm advertising mm. Tim and Maddox autograph online, hamishnanny.com. Click on there and buy it. I think the price has fluctuated, has floated back up into the $10 an autograph right. region. Yep. Um, was it eight bucks for a bit there? There was some specials. Yep. And you know what? It's back down to eight. Well, no, before you do that, because <laughs> I, I want to bring up two things with you. Yeah. Today, the, the price fluctuates up and down, and that's the exciting part about the it's market. It's a 10, everyone, for the meantime. I don't think you're in charge of that. <laughs> um, but also, yeah, look, it doesn't matter who it's done by. It is his autograph, okay? No, it's it, not. It's, I am able to do his autograph, which since you're digging around looking into it the legal It looks a lot like business, his autograph. It's his autograph. He's able to do it. I'm able to do it. There mm. might be other people out there that can do it. it looks... He can't hog. He can't go, walk around saying that he's the only one that can do it. I find that <laughs> offensive. <laughs> um, it says, though, as under the, the word autograph, it says a signature, especially that of a celebrity, written as mm-hmm. a memento to an admirer. Not by the celebrity. <laughs> well, Would you show me in that definition where it says, by the celebrity. Read it again. <laughs> as a signature, especially that of a celebrity. Of a celebrity. Written as a memento for an admirer. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and we have the legal standing. Nowhere there does it say written by the celebrity. Yeah. It's the signature of a celebrity, and that is what I'm selling. I am selling the signature of a celebrity, Mr. Tim Bronson well, Omatic. Well, I think then we need to look up signature. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I rest my case, and a, all cases are hereby rested. A person's court- name written in a distinctive way as form of identification in authorizing a document. But not by the person. No, that is. A person <laughs> is by way of authorising. By whom? Doesn't say who wrote it. 
I've got it again. No, you <laughs> two from two. You don't. Double legal win. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. A huge day for the business. Hamish and Andy dot com to celebrate our recent double legal win. <laughs> All prices. It is the signature. Timomatics autograph is now dropped. Before you celebrate. To seven dollars fifty a signature. <laughs> Buy ten, get five free. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> signatures Hold for seventy five bucks. Hold on. A distinctive pattern. That is all I have to say. Good night. <laughs> Which are uh, written by someone by way of identifying them. Uh, you're just digging too deep now. <laughs> well, we had autograph. We had autograph. Anyway. And you had signature. Yeah. We did the first, we took, I took the first definition of signature. <laughs> Neither of those say it has to be done by the person anyway, it purports normally, to be. Normally I bring bad news to you, but I want to start with a bit of good news. This is all good news. We just Lawrence, had, I just won two legal challenges, <laughs> and the price has just dropped to $7.50 in autograph. Well, Lawrence Henderson has written and wanted to express his thanks for the recent autograph to a manic. On the I've had pre- AFL footballers pre- buy the man. Prestigious Happy Hour Coaster. He said, can you put me down as another satisfies customer? Heck, I might even buy another. You should. Get them while they're hot. All the best with future endeavors. Here's the one I actually wanted to bring up with you, though, Ham. Yep. It's from Mick. Hey, Hamish and Andy. What's the price for buying between 65 and 80? My jaw just hit the floor. <laughs> At the same just... time, my eyebrows hit the roof. So yeah. you would have heard a crack and a, and a he soft He 65 thud. to 80 Timomatic autographs. Um, love to have a chat about a special deal. Two hundred dollars. He goes. I've noticed. I've noticed today's. He said. I noticed on t- after today's show that you can get four f- buy four get one free and other great deals that I haven't quickly looked into, <laughs> <laughs> which was five get one free, six get one free, seven get one free, and eight, eight get, get one, one free. free to punish you for not knowing mm. you should have bought four twice. So he said. But I'd love to talk to the CEO if, if I could to pass this on to him. Yes, I'm a groomsman at a wedding. It's in the middle of September. And I think a great feature would be have oh, good a on. wedding table. 60 set, to 80. 65 to 80. Well, I don't think... How much is a bulk order these days? I don't think $200 is unfair. Five, <laughs> five dollars an autograph. Yep. Five dollars an autograph for eighty. Yeah, yeah, he can have eighty for two hundred bucks. So, so I'm, I'm feeling generous. Okay, but so when I we, break when, even at that price. So when we, <laughs> no, you don't. so when, so when we update our website, yep. are we having buy? 84. Wedding pack. <laughs> Wedding pack, $80, $200. But you can also buy 10 for 75 Yeah. which is beginning to look like less of a good deal. Seven fifty is the new price to celebrate yep. our recent wins in the Supreme and High Court. Yep. 10 for 75 No, you said buy 10, get 5 free. Sorry, yeah. So 15, 15 for 75 Yeah. And, uh, and, and and then a wedding pack. 80 for 200 This is the kind of volumes I like, Ando. I just signed bloody 90 autographs and I'm going to have to get straight back in the factory. They're You're getting... sitting over there. You're having the most fun out of all of this because oh. it's going into the joint account yeah. and I'm doing all the work. Well, you know, you, over the years, I could add up all the things you've spent <laughs> hey, money Mission on. Hey, Andy. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Mission Andy with you and back for another happy hour Phonies is the topic today, Ham. You bet it is, Ando. And um, from a few couple of guys that are, we are anti-phonies, yeah, you we have are. to say. Absolutely. One of our big rules on this show. Well. Two rules on this show. Yeah. No phonies. Yep. And stop duping us. <laughs> yeah, Because exactly. we have been duped, duped by a lot of listeners of the show. Who were phonies. One of them, True. both, well, actually both of them turned out to be phonies. Uh, they'll pretend it's the number one way. It's the number one way we get duped. But Ham, how what, how do they learn to be a phony? Who's teaching these things? Who's encouraged know. them? Who's I don't know. their mentor in I don't life? Know. Who's their idol? Stop Who are they copying? No, I really don't know. Maybe they're copying you. I uh, didn't. I just say I'm not a phony. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is, Ham, you are doing something that you know people suggest. You are impersonating someone or pretending to pass off something that you're doing as someone aware, else's work. I'm not aware of that feedback. It's to do with Timomatic. Oh, yeah. I run a business through the website. Uh, go to hamishandy.com if you like to order one. I sell Timomatic's autograph. You sell yourself doing Timomatic's autograph. I never said he did it. <laughs> I just said you can buy Timomatic's autograph. And I, as the head of yeah. Autographomatic, the mm. company that produces them, mm. yes, I also happen to be one of the chief autograph engineers. I have a skill, I have a talent, I have a gift from God yep. uh, where I can do Tim and Maddox autograph. Now, I don't think I'm better than God, Andy. Do you think you're better than God? I don't Because you're I questioning am. one of the talents he gave one of his disciples. <laughs> hey, you're not a disciple. <laughs> hey, just brought up the Tim and Maddox business that you're running at the moment. If you mm. want to, um, or do you want me to explain because you're chewing? <laughs> just eating a rumble. 
No, but I think it's important to note that I'm eating a rum ball because I feel so comfortable yeah, exactly. and calm. You... And I don't feel like I've done anything wrong. <laughs> Would I be eating a rum ball if I was worried about the cops bursting through the door? No. No. Would you be I'd be eating a... I'd be eating a handcuff key <laughs> yeah. to prepare myself for later. No, it was it did match your smugness with regards to this topic, the fact that you were I'm not eating. smug about it. I just happen to know that I'm on solid legal ground. Didn't mm. we already discuss this? Look, here's the business. Mm. I sell Tim Maddox autograph online. Mm. Hamishandy.com, at the moment, I've dropped the price to seven fifty an autograph. Mm. That's a 25% off saving. Mm. Grab 10, get five free. Mm. So you can 15, 15 hand-drawn Tim Maddox autographs mm. for 75 bucks. It's awesome. It's a great gift heading into an Father's Day, heading done, into Christmas. An autograph of Tim Maddox done by whom? I do most of them. <laughs> no, yeah, same as Blake does them. This is the worry. Yeah, but an auto- and- I mean, it's the shape. If an autograph is about shape, the shape is the same. No one will ever know I've done them. Fred Bradley is worried for you, as am I. Mm-hmm. He's you know, from London. Um, and he said, on the subject of phonies, I wanted to alert Hamish and possibly scare him with regard to the activity of selling Tim Maddox's signature. You won't. In England, unfortunately, someone's gone down for selling fake autographs. A man who ran a cottage industry, as he called it, producing fake celebrity autographs. See, mine's more boutique. Yep. Has been jailed. The guy was Andrew Sullivan. He's 51. And he lived in the Norfolk area. Who was he selling? He made... Well, he'd sell anyone. (laughs) True. Um, I do understand the temptation because once you realize the money that's involved in this industry. But when I see an order come in, I just think this is money for jam. No, I don't. (laughs) <laughs> I just think uh, that'll just cover costs. He was very good, though, at one person in particular, David Tennant, yep. who's Doctor Who, okay? Oh, right. He forged 3,500 autographs over a two-year period. I respect the workload. He netted £35,000 for his work, counterfeit work, selling him on eBay from 2009 to 2011, and he's just received his prison sentence. I view him as a trailblazer slash martyr for the cause. Because okay. what he's trying to do is highlight to mm. people, the great thing about autographs mm. is you don't have to get them from the person <laughs> that, that you say they're from. If there's other ways to do it, you're taking, he's taking a workload off Doctor Who. He's making some money for himself, quite a lot of money. I view him as a case study on where people end up if they keep forging it's other people's autographs. interesting because it's such a grey area legally. The worry for me, Ham... Is I don't if when you go to prison, mm-hmm. I don't have to be ringing up you know Zoe and checking in on her or your son Sonny. You have to. That's well, the deal. I know. It's a partnership deal. Well, to, just to make this real for you, you have to go to a safe deposit box every week and you collect <laughs> your payment of all my monies. Yep. The you know you collect and you you have to take over the business too. You have to sell the Tim Maddox <laughs> autograph. Well, I don't want to do that. But to make well, it, someone's got to look after to make it real Sonny. for you. This is what it might be like in a few years' time. <laughs> Hello, Zoe speaking. Oh, hey, Zoe. It's it's just Andy checking to see how things are going without Hamish around. Oh, look, it's tough. I'm trying to give up the but 15 years in jail is a long time. Yeah, 15 years was a long time, but I think because he denied any wrongdoing at the time and then tried to bribe the judge with a special legal edition Timomatic autograph, you know, it all just kind of added up. Is, is Sonny okay? He's hanging in there. Um, the principal of school actually called today, though, and they did say that they caught Sonny trying to sell Reese Maston autographs. Mm. I'm just worried he's taking after his daddy. They wouldn't sell, though, would they? You'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Can I can I speak to the little guy? Sure. Uh, I'll put him on. Sonny! Here he is. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Hey, little buddy. What's up? Um, not much. How are you? Oh, not bad. Dad gets out in three years, which is good. Yeah, yeah, only three more years. Um, do you hear from him? Yeah, yeah, he, he writes to me every week. Mm-hmm. Also got a letter from Tim Matic. Oh, you got a letter from Tim Matic? What, what did it say? He said that it isn't Dad's fault at all, and it's really unfair that Dad is the best and that Dad one day kicked a really good goal in the EJ Witten Legends match, mm. and that Dad is an excellent magician. Oh, yeah? Are you sure it's from Tim Matic? Yeah, it was signed and everything. Signed, uh... Okay, man. Cool, man. Cool. Well, some really horrible visions of the future there. 
but n- not so much the prison aspect. <laughs> I love that I, I can't even, they can't even visit me. My son has to rely, I'm in such maximum security. My crime in the eyes of the crown was so bad, I haven't been allowed a face-to-face visit with my son for 15 years. <laughs> nah, look, that's just, that's just scare tactics by Endo. Business as usual. Go to hamishdanny.com for all your Timomatic autograph needs. Yes, there are whispers of a festive edition. Keep your ears ears peered in the next hundred or so days for news on that. It's the happy hour. Hamish has been doing Tim O'Matic's autograph and and selling them for great success on the website hamishnetty.com. My worries stem from being accused of forgery uh, and and, and alike and obviously us getting sued for a lot of money from Tim O'Matic. My worries arise from going... Can I keep up with the demand? Because so many people want this bloody autograph. My hand's about to fall off. I'm signing coaster after coaster after coaster Mm. and shipping them out Mm. using the radio station's mail room. Yeah. (laughs) We have been shipping them internationally. Mm. We take care of postage and handling. That's one of the big advantages of the business. Yep. Is um, you and I happen to work in a building where they where don't we can, really check on no or audit any of the mail going out. No one seems to have noticed hundreds yeah. of small brown parcels yeah. that have just weaseled their way into the outgoing mail. If anyone actually has wedding invites they want to send out, two hundred of, come have a have a chat. Come in and and um, and I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, actually, seems like something we should be taking care of. <laughs> and uh, here's here's I mean we I just actually recently filled out an order of eighty. Tim and Maddie autographs for a wedding because I signed them on the back of a coaster. Yep. Everyone's was a, and by all accounts, that was the greatest thing anyone's ever had at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Here's the worry though you, you seem to often raise the issue to me of going, Oh, look, you know, what if Tim and Maddie finds out about this? And he, and he has brought it up before. We did see yep. on, um, we did see online that he tweeted us and he said, hey, do I get a cut of this? Yep. I hit back at him pretty firmly and I said, keep your nose out of my business, Tim Matic. This yep. has got nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. I don't go getting into his business mm. and I don't really see why he should be allowed to get into my business. Yep. Uh, for people who don't know who Tim Matic is, he's uh, a sometimes singer, dancer and judge. Well put. Thank you. Uh, let me take you in behind back. This, this came in from uh, Gareth Livingston. Happy chappy Gareth Livingston. Mm-hmm. Raises a really interesting question. Back in 1921, Babe Ruth mm-hmm. was the greatest Yankees baseball player of all time. Broke the home run record mm-hmm. by hundred, by some, you know, 20, 30 home runs. He was just out of nowhere came this bas- baseball player. The candy bar, Baby Ruth, mm-hmm. was launched at the same time. Babe Ruth went, whoa, 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 which is a popular candy bar in America. We don't yeah. have it here, but it's a, the Baby Ruth bar is big. It's still big today. Babe Ruth turned around and went, guys, you're trying to... You're, you're trying to, you're cashing in on my name. Yeah. And they went, no, 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 no. Our baby Ruth refers to the granddaughter of President Wilson, uh, who was the president at the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. his, his granddaughter's called Ruth, and we named it after her. And he goes, he goes well, look, who's more famous, the president's granddaughter yeah. or the most famous baseball player of all time right now? Yeah. And they said, well, stiff, stiff candies, mate, because <laughs> we've, uh, we've trademarked the name Babe Ruth anyway. Or Babe Ruth? Or we've, Baby- we've trademarked Baby Ruth and we've trademarked Babe Ruth. Wow. You actually have to ask us if you want to use your name. Wow. Because we're smart. We're smarty pantsers at trademarking law. And that gave me a little idea, Ando. I have lodged the trademark for the name Tim Amatic, the visual pattern of the signature as an artwork <laughs> of Tim Amatic, and the concept of Tim Amatic as a performer. Those have been lodged with the Australian Trademark Commission. Mm-hmm. It will take about two weeks for them to go through. So yep. by the time we get back from holidays, mm. you're looking at the owner of the Tim Amatic trademark. If he would like to release an album or perform or judge or use the name Tim Amatic or do his autograph, he's more than welcome to call me and ask for permission. <laughs> but from here on in, Ando, if everything goes right, yeah. it's, you are looking at the guy that's now sitting on all the legal gold. Great. Because it now, hadn't been registered. Did you trademark Hamish and Eddie while we were there? No. So there is we, a way for him to get us. He, he could trademark our name yeah. and Let's then get onto that. Or organize someone, a swap. Whenever we say stuff like this, normally one of the listeners gets on and dupes <laughs> yeah. us back. Look, I'm going to flag this. Yeah. I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just full disclosure. I'm just cutting you in. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want you to worry about this. Yeah. In this process, yeah. this is the bit where, um, you know, he could object. But I can't really see grounds. <laughs> They, the, the, or the trademark lady said, you know, it's, yeah. if someone objects, then yeah. it, you have to go through the... But do you have, you have to, to prove whose intellectual property do it is. Do you have to alert the guy no. to give him a chance to object? No. 
hope he doesn't listen. I mean, he might catch wind of it, but I can't. I, I read that as a one percent chance. Yeah. Take it as a pretty much as a given mm-hmm. that I, you're. I, I've trademarked Timomatic. Great news. What's the price of today's Timomatic uh, autograph, then, sir? It's gone up to fifty bucks. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm keeping it at whatever the last price I said. You know what? Seven fifty. I think it is. Let's let's drop it to six ninety nine. <laughs> To celebrate this wonderful day. Six ninety nine, buy a hundred, get a hundred free. <laughs> oh what? you heard me. Yeah, I did. You heard me. I did. For sixty nine ninety you can get two hundred Timomatic autographs. No. Now that is not bad. No, that's ten, mate. Sixty it's six hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, it is too. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. We're rich. No, that's no. We're not rich. I just break even at six six ninety nine. Um, With a hundred free, that means you. Can, we get, I'll half. lose money on that, but I'm prepared to do it for you guys. Six hundred ninety nine bucks. It's the, you get yeah. two hundred. Is it really six hundred ninety nine? Yeah. Fantastic. Hey, um, it's fun. Which we just had love fun. And there's business. Ah, uh, business can be fun. And there's government business. That's often not fun. <laughs> yeah. To do with your Timomatic autograph sales. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, uh, yeah for people that don't know, I uh, run a side business here at the show. Mm. It actually should be the main business, make a lot more money mm. uh, from it. Uh, for various amounts of money, you can buy Timomatic's autograph if you go to hamishandy.com through the website. Mm. As done by you. Uh, yes, I'm the guy doing the autograph. I don't <laughs> think that needs to be said. But uh, yeah, I have a skill. I have a talent. I have a trade. No, I'm not a stonemason. I'm not a candlestick maker. I can do Tim and Maddox autograph. That is my art. Yeah. That is my trade. I do it on the back of a happy hour coaster. Many, many people pay good money to receive them. Everyone's very happy when they get them. Yeah. Well, um, not everyone. I've, I've heard what are the current so. prices at, Jez? Because yeah. uh, <laughs> the price does fluctuate. It goes up and down. I think it might be, is it still at $6.99? It's still at $6.99. $6.99, yeah. uh, special bu- price. a special price to celebrate the fact mm. that it looks like I have successfully got the Tim and Maddox trademark. Well, that was the latest silly, news. Silly Tim didn't trademark his own name. And I managed to sneak in, apply to the government, and yep. trademark the autograph, the artwork of the mm. autograph, and his name. Mm. And I believe that's... Is that going well? Or, <laughs> I mean, I haven't checked up on it, but I can well, see you've got right. a, you have a piece of paper from the government's intellectual property department. Yeah, you've um, returned back to Australia a little after I, uh, which has given me, a cha- weekend. given me a chance to get to the happy hour post office. Could- and I do have from the Australian government... Oh, there it is. Yep. The IP, Australia, intellectual property. I assume that's just a notice to say, hey, Haim, everything's going well. Well, Well, uh, let me bring you the report, my friend. Well done on being the only guy involved in the Timomatic autograph industry, whether you are Timomatic himself or someone else, Mm. to be the only person smart enough to trademark the autograph. Well, we trademarked, uh, well, you did, sorry, but you did it on behalf of our company, so I'm now involved. Thank you. Um, Trademark, yes, the the name Mm -hmm. Timomatic in the category of entertainer. Um, here's the problems that they see. Oh, they've got... Um, they got a problem list? There's a problem list. I thought it... Oh. Um, I first thing it. is, the application is ready for acceptance. Um, As expected. And then what will happen is it gets advertised. So, uh-huh. if, so if anyone... But it, what, like in the back of the paper? No one reads No, <laughs> if anyone has any issues, they have seven and a half months... <laughs> Um, Jeez, what are they doing? Driving around Australia with it on the back of a truck? <laughs> yeah. To file, and then... He won't. Well, anyway, you're eight. You're at the, at the least eight months away from, from getting this from the trademark. Yeah, so but I'm currently offering the autograph at special trademark celebration prices. Should yep. I put the price back up? They're saying a fellow called Mister Omaji might have a problem. Do you know who that is? <laughs> they found him because <laughs> I think his name's Tim Omaji. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he. I don't think he's. I was like, who's Mister Omaji? Why I, the hell is he annoyed about this? I don't this? think his yeah. birth name was Omaji. <laughs> Dad Omatic and Mum Omatic and Tim Omatic. Um, they said, "Here are the problems with your trademark." Oh. This, this is a se- this is a section. Jeez, your trademark. Of, is- I'll be honest with you. I was hoping this might just sort of slide through because I assume at the trademark office, it's just. I would have hoped mm. that it's just more about just stamping things and keeping the system moving rather than <laughs> yeah. bogging it down with what sounds to me like yeah. a lot of red tape. Well, there's a bit of bog here. <laughs> <laughs> Your trademark is the well-known nickname or stage name of a well-known person. Is it? That is Tim O'Maggi. Can I just? Yes. If there are two people living on the street and there's a bike there. Now, whose bike is it? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the owner. You've got this someone at number the seven owner. and number five, yeah, right? The and owners. the guy, okay, number seven seems to have the bike a lot, but yeah. he leaves it out in the rain. Yeah. He doesn't look after it. <laughs> he doesn't trademark no, it. Not, the guy at number five no, not, wants the bike and be, cares yeah. for it more. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the, the government owner. would respect okay, the guy at number five quickly for caring for it more. Cover off that you trademarked the autograph as well. The actual yes, symbol. Yes, I did. There it is. So it was, and it shows up on this piece of paper. Here is the problems. It says, your trademark is a signature of a well-known person, Tim Omaggi. <laughs> I fight them on well-known. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we make our stand. <laughs> anyway... He said, how do I overcome... We need a QC like they're in the not castle. Just throw, they don't just throw problems at you. They throw how to overcome problems. Yeah, great. So they say, you can overcome this problem by providing written permission from this person, Timo Maggi, to use his signature in your trademark. So you'll need his written permission. <laughs> then... I assume some sort of typed document with an autograph at the bottom will do. <laughs> no. no. You'll also need to agree in writing to add this endorsement to your application. This signature... No problems. <laughs> This signature appearing in this trademark is that of Tim Maggi, who has consented for its use yep. of the trademark. Yeah. You need to put that on every single one of the things. No, just in out. my trademark application. <laughs> no worries. I'll have that sorted out by tomorrow. <laughs> it's the happy hour. I will respond to this. Just let me talk to my team. Hey, Jack just brought up an interesting point with regards to that analogy you're using for the bicycles. Yeah. Um, oh, for the Tim O'Matic thing. Yeah, you're saying that there was two people in the street. That yeah. One person owned the bike but didn't care for it. Yeah. Uh, but- no, you're not getting my bike again, Jack. <laughs> well, you no. borrowed it for almost a year. Yeah. And I know, got- but uh, since I've given it back six months ago, have you ridden it? Several well, times. No, you haven't. A big time have. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> also, in- we don't live in the same street. We live two streets away. <laughs> so the analogy is null and void. <laughs> You, where do you draw the line? The last it has time, to be. When's the last time you have ridden it? Yesterday. No, you, you haven't ridden it. I did it. a time trial on it. <laughs> have you ridden it since Jack gave it back? Yes, 100%. <laughs> I went, and, I went, I rode it to go and get two bike locks to block it up at the front of my house. <laughs> and the famous words from you were, I'll sort this by tomorrow. Yep. With regards to a problem I presented for you. Just a and, little legal situation. And for us, because I've been implemented, you tried to trademark, um, we should point out, you do sell Timomatic autographs done by you. Still available at the website, mm. six ninety nine. Buy a hundred, get a hundred free. <laughs> yeah, no one's taken that deal yet, I don't think. Jez, just quick uh, no. web <laughs> geezer. It's just like she's shaking his head there, and it's in the universal um, Tim Bannock, um, symbol of no. Uh, dancer, singer, sometimes judger yes. of other dancers and singers. Two and a half threat. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, you learnt that you could do his signature perfectly, yep. uh, and hence started selling them as autographs. Uh, that's, I, that's been my business. I've been selling Tim Maddox autograph. It's been going very, very well. I thank everyone that has purchased. I encourage those that haven't to purchase. Mm. We've got a lot of happy customers. If you have recently paid over the last couple of weeks, yes, uh, we've been on holidays. Bit of a backlog. Small backlog. And uh, what am I doing literally right now? You are writing out some more. I'm going through an order of 100. And I wonder, not the 100 going free? No, so a cumulative. 100 <laughs> individual orders. <laughs> yes. Um I should point out, Ham, that I said to you yesterday, you went ahead to the Australian government, uh, their intellectual property mm-hmm. um, section, and asked whether you could trademark not only the signature itself, but the name Tim Amatic, because you saw that Tim Amatic himself yep. hadn't done that. From the outset of this business idea, I've been getting a lot of flack from you, if I may name names, mm. yelling at you me may not. <laughs> about how this isn't quote unquote legal, no. how it's not quote unquote ethical. Yeah. I've tried to be professional to you. I've tried to inform you that this is just what I do. Mm. This is my gift. This is my job. If Tim Maddock has a problem, get out of my business, Tim. This has got nothing to do with you. Mm. It's just a slight coincidence that I'm doing your autograph. You know, you can do your autograph. I can do your autograph. Whatever. Mm. There's a lot of pie to go around. Keep your snout out of my pie. (laughs) You keep raising up the issue that, you know, he might have legal grounds to dispute. So well, that, that, well, the, the people from the Australian government agree. I now was because getting tired of your legal badgering, so I decided to trademark it. They have come back. The people within trademark yes. intellectual property area, and they've said not c- conclusively. They just had raised a couple of they said that queries. You, you would need his permission yep. to continue doing this. And to that get was a their opinion. Yeah, my the guys, opinion is I don't. 
No, but they're the guys that <laughs> offer up the trademarks. <laughs> so without without their opinion being again, the same as yours, you won't get what you want. Again, I'll play your game, Andy, but it's only because game. I can't it's... be bothered dealing with this constant niggling. Whereas you could be put at a lot more better use if you were just working on the envelopes or sending them, <laughs> sending out the autographs. Actually doing something for the business rather than being devil's advocate all the time. Well, it's important because we could get... So what I did, some... yeah. So what I did, after yesterday's mm. show where... You did. You had some of the mail from the government saying, "Well, you know, you need this guy's permission." Yep. Uh, I I did say to you, "Yes, I'll sort it." Yep. Now I know it's not. I know we need his written permission, mm. but he's in another state, okay. so I only had the chance to call him on the telephone. Oh, I'd prefer that because if you just wrote it up and then signed it with his <laughs> name, I wouldn't believe that. This is so how you, you spoke to Tim about it. A, I caught up with him, and yep. I think this will put all your worries to bed. Right. Hello. Hello, Tim and Maddox. It's Hamish Blake here. Hey, what's going on? Not a lot, man. Just operating my business, selling Tim and Maddox autographs as usual, a business you have no official concerns over. Is that correct? Yes. Cool. So I'm just clarifying that you're 100% okay with this process and also my current application to trademark your name. Yes. And your signature? Yes. Oh, good. I'm also going to need a verbal agreement from you to cease doing your autograph because from my end, that's bad for business, bro. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I feel like we've come to an agreement, Tim and Maddox. Do you also legally feel this way? Yes. Super duper. So I'm just going to need your signature in the box that says you approve of these business activities and of my trademarking your name in intellectual property, but I'm happy to sign it as you. I'd I'd probably rather sign it myself, man. With all due respect, Mr. Omatic, I'd rather sign it as you. It would make me feel more comfortable. Do you consent to this condition? Yes. Great. That's it from me. You have a good day, okay? Yes. Yes, I will too. And the paperwork shall be placed in the mail tonight. It's <laughs> the happy hour, Amish and Andy. New special price, $7.50. You sure that wasn't taken from the time we talked to him on the phone and you just recut that? You've just cost the customers another 50 cents. New special price, $8.50. <laughs> New legal tax included in price. Before we go, Ham, um, I've got some pretty, pretty scary news. It's to do with your business selling Timomatic autographs. Well, Andy, I've also got some scary news. (laughs) But you go first. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> People don't know Hamish sells um, uh, performers, uh, Tim Amatic, uh, singer, yes. dancer, sometimes judge, performer, yep. um, his autograph yep. online. I found out I had a talent, and that talent was to be able to do Tim Amatic's autograph. Yep. Uh, do I let this talent go to waste, even mm. though God has given it to me? No, that's an insult to God. <laughs> I must get my talent out there. I have a gift. And people have acknowledged that, Ando. Yep. HamishNandy.com, we have sold a lot of Tim and Maddox autograph. Comes on the back of a happy hour coaster. Mm. I believe it's at $8 at the moment. The Christmas 7... 770. 770, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I dropped the prices yeah. as a thank you to all my loyal customers. Well, The Christmas edition is currently for sale, mm-hmm. um, where the signature is red mm-hmm. and the dot is green, or the signature is green and the dot on the eye of the Tim Amatic is red. Well, here's the bad news. <laughs> There's another person in the market selling them. Son of a... Well, that's copying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's... I have an ethical issue with that. Here's the predicament for <laughs> What you. have they done? His name's Marcus. He seems like he has it down pat. What do you, have you got a picture of one of his autographs? Uh, yeah, I've got it for you here. Give us a look. I'll be, the, I'll be the judge on whether or not this hack can do the autograph. That is so bad, mate, and I'm not <laughs> just saying that. That is pretty close to what you're That doing. is horrible. Show it to me again. <laughs> That's an insult. Do not buy one of Marcus's. Firstly, yep. the downstroke of the capital T does not have a return to the top. It is a single stroke. Okay. Okay? Well, don't give him the tips, mate, because I reckon that's pretty close. I reckon that's junk. As if you've well, ever, you'll never see me doing a signature like that, guys. And that's what I'm talking about. When you're buying Tim and Maddox autograph, yeah. please make sure you get Koo for the one of the quality distributors. He's selling because them for are, two bucks a pop. There are guys out he's, there like this. He's and you know what? you on price. Do you know what? Yeah. Fine. And and I stand by my quality price because okay. you've got you'll have a junk autograph at two dollars. <laughs> you will. It's a piece of. It's just a just an insult to those of us that actually take time yep. and put effort and craft into <laughs> autographs, and it looks like he's just done it on pen on thin paper. Well, uh, he's, he's a top-of-the-range Sharpie, celebrity's choice for when they're doing autographs, he's, and I put it on a thick coaster. He's now going on to coasters. Good luck, mate. <laughs>
<laughs> and is it in his postage and handling included? Uh, in his two bucks, I bet it's extra. It probably have to be. Extra, He's just it? a shunky operator. <laughs> I don't like the sounds of this guy at all. No, not one bit, sir. <laughs> yeah. And I am just. And I'm you glad you him? brought it up. I report this guy to the A Triple C because he's selling an inferior product. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you come to me and you know you get the top of the line quality Tim and Matic autograph. When Virgin Airlines came in yep. to the mix, Qantas had to pull their prices down. Well, yeah, that's a price war. Yeah. But because- Are, are you in a price war with- Because the market could yeah. could reasonably think that they were both offering a similar quality. Well, some yeah, people- The market <laughs> does not think that in this case. A <laughs> little bit of economics 101. The market won't be fooled by that. I'm not scared by him for one second. Festive tinematic autographs remain on sale at the very and, fair price of seven seventy. dollars That's postage included. HamishAnnie.com. Get and, your bulk orders in for Christmas. Makes a wonderful gift and for anyone that one. has eyes. <laughs> and festy ones. What's it? <laughs> Terrible infested. Terrible festy ones from Marcus. <laughs> Two bucks a pop. Oh, but you were not covered. There's no warranty, and I would highly doubt they have a customer service division like we what's, do. What's the warranty? That you're going at the moment? How much? What's how, many, how many years warranty do you have at the moment? Like years, obviously. You're covered for the first half an hour that you open it up. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got time for today. Thank you for being with us. Oh. HamishNetty.com for anything you may have missed. The podcast is there. How do you know you're on the top? Because people start <laughs> imitating you. We'll catch you tomorrow. That's how Tim and knew he was on the top. <laughs> and before that, I mean, some people refer to as trash. Other people have treasured them. What are we talking about? Your Tim autographs. I hereby sue you for defamation. Oh, Yeah. How dare you say they're trash? No, I didn't. I said some people oh. do. I did the, Remember I did that? But so. I'm a business, <laughs> yeah. and you've defamed me, <laughs> so I will now serve court papers against you. No, no, because what I did was just said some people are saying that. I, all I heard was the word, <laughs> okay. and it hurt my feelings. <laughs> and uh, I have a gift, and yeah. it is doing autographs for people's consumption. Yeah. I happen to be excellent at Tim and Maddox autograph. Well, there was another person that's excellent at Tim and Maddox autograph. That now, you I'll poop- defame them. <laughs> you Because I said that was a shoddy... <laughs> that someone tried to copy my business idea and start selling Tim and Maddox autograph. Yeah. How dare he? Yeah, well... It was a shoddy, shoddy autograph. Well, you made that very clear the other day as you... It was, I mean... People, a lot of people are saying that you're quite defensive. I was. You, you, <laughs> I was hurt <laughs> you, and angry. You went on that attack. Well, he's not a part of the uh, accredited Tim and Matic Autograph <laughs> Sellers Association. <laughs> he's- and I would just say, don't buy off a non-accredited seller. Hey. Boom. Tim and Maddox Autographs. You've been yeah. selling, not his, you've been selling a replica mm. of his. You don't need to keep getting specific about who uh, did it, who didn't do it. Well, you did it, and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going for specific. I, you just know what I requested. You don't. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you well, would like Tim and Maddox's autograph, hamishandandy.com.au, I have access mm. to them on the back of a coaster, on a happy hour coaster. Mm. At the moment, the Christmas edition is up. Are they still eight bucks a pop? Seven ninety nine. Yep, seven ninety nine <laughs> bargain. Yeah. Buy a hundred, get a hundred free. That deal still stands. Well, uh, and you can get. Let me finish. Mm. You can get the festive edition. It's either a green autograph with a red dot, yes. where the eye goes, yeah. uh, or a red with a green dot. Yes. Um, you can't request which color. It's completely like random. A draw. And one of the elves in the factory so you, chooses. Yeah. So if you wanted one of each, all done by my hand, but a perfect replica uh, of Tim and Maddox autograph. Buy two, and hopefully you get one of each. There's no guarantee. <laughs> to be safe by five. <laughs> and by you'd, be, you'd be unlucky. By four, get one free. Is by four, get one free still a deal? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. okay. And by 400, get 400 free. <laughs> um, Haim, that's a new deal, by the way. Tell you what, by a thousand. <laughs> no. Here we go. Yeah, okay. By a thousand, get 1,500 free. Wow. Webkeys at Jez, whose job it is to put them in envelopes yeah. once I've signed them. Yeah. His hair yeah. has just gone well, grey. Well, no one's buying a thousand. It's an $8,000 investment, <laughs> but you do get two and a half thousand coasters. Perhaps anyway, if you have a very, very big wedding coming up. Anyway, you could either go... And money's <laughs> absolutely no issue, because <laughs> you've got two and a half thousand people coming to your wedding. Um you can either get them through Hamish or you can get them through Marcus. No, you as, can't. As I said he is you, not part. He's got Timmy's legitimate autograph. Atasa, um, <laughs> Authorised Association of Timomatic Autograph Sellers and Resellers. You poo pooed a couple of his claims the other day, saying he didn't, um, you know, have what it takes. It was a gross in, autograph, in, in, inferior product, etc. It, his his version of the autograph made me physically sick. It was okay. gross. <laughs> anyway, he's come back, Ham, and I've been talking to him um, exclusively. Well, then I'm him. angry at you. Sorry about this, but you know, keep an eye on the competitors. 
he wants to level five things at you, and you can decide whether you want to take him on board. This is, it's like you've been texting ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one, he's selling two dollars per autograph. Per autograph, of course he is, because yeah. it's it's a completely fake product. Guess what? Including postage and handling. So Last, was ours. Last time you said it wouldn't have included postage handling. You had a go at him. Yep. He is did. he? Yeah. Well, good luck, mate, trying okay. to turn a profit. <laughs> okay. Unless he's doing it from the company offices like we are and we're just Two, like hijacking the app. In answer to you, mm-hmm. it will be a quality autograph on a thick coaster. Mate, I... I... Full full refund if customer's not satisfied. Yeah, but Hamish what does, coaster? Hamish doesn't offer that. I have offered, not refunds, I've sent extra coasters out to people that say they didn't get it. No, don't say that out loud. Well, I mean, I've, I've made amends to people. Anyway, he's just releasing his Christmas edition. Oh, sparkly. I think I know who he is now. With a sparkly He's the red... reactive guy in the market. He's just the copycat. He's the streamliner. A sparkly red pen and green glitter. Yeah, but not authentic. Okay. Not authentic. This is his. The, you know what he? You know what I am? Yeah. I'm Cirque du Soleil, yeah. and he's a court jester. <laughs> he's a cheap, rubbish imitation he's of offering, the main event. Okay. He's offering a two-year warranty. I oh, offer a ten-year, which can be extended a uh, dollar per year. Mine's ten years, and it's for free. <laughs> I promise that ink will never fade. <laughs> the last one, then. His autograph is a hundred percent correct. As I learnt it from the legitimate Timomatic autograph. Yeah, so did I. So all the dots and lines are in the correct positions to the millimetre. They're not. And he's and that that to me just says you're in, you're an absolute con man. Yeah. He's come and he's he, do not buy a Timomatic autograph from this guy. Might be hundred percent upstanding in the rest of his life, mm-hmm. but on the Timomatic front, he's mm-hmm. selling you an inferior product. What? Don't get fooled by the glitter and the two year warranty. Well, I won't give you get no- fooled by my. <laughs> Side of the fence. <laughs> Get fooled by my texter, my ten year warranty. That's where the real quality's at. That's where the real fooling is. That's where the real fooling is happening. <laughs> and don't go straight to Tim Manic. He probably just does it in pen. <laughs> Happy hour. Hey Mum ready. Ando. Or am I? No, you, you're ready. You think I'm ready. This is a business opportunity. For me. You're a young man. Yes. You did some things at university that resulted in a degree. Mm-hmm. Just business degree. So I'll, I'll understand. Very close. I'll, under- just, I'll just, understand just. exactly the language you're talking. I'm a business owner. Well, I'm a CEO of a business without a degree, and like a Steve Jobs, I didn't need one. Yep. A bit of a renegade. I think Jobs might have had a degree. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was an engineer. Yeah. Might be thinking of Bill Gates. <laughs> like a lot of Silicon Valley, like yeah. a lot of tech entrepreneurs, yeah. I didn't need a degree because I saw a gap in the market and I had a god-given talent. Yeah. I realised. There's a difference between that startups, my, mate, and upstarts. But my hand... <laughs> and you're an upstart. My hand okay. had been touched by someone, maybe God, mm-hmm. and given the ability to do Tim and Maddox autograph perfectly. Just so you know, if this business opportunity has anything to do with your Tim and Maddox autograph business... It does. I'm not interested. <laughs> okay. I'll take that as a tentative yes. Okay. I realised I had this thrilling skill, mm-hmm. and I have been selling online, uh now for some months. Yeah. Tim and Maddox autograph. Sometimes we have big weeks, sometimes we have yep. what can only be described as empty weeks. Mm-hmm. But people, by and large, are warming to the idea of buying Tim and Maddox autograph. They're at seventeen seven ninety nine at the moment, are they? Seven ninety nine. Christmas yeah. edition. Christmas edition. Uh, festive edition. <laughs> the autograph is either completely green with a red dot or yep. completely red with a green dot. Now this is not Tim and Maddox autograph, everyone. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a replica done by you. It is his autograph. Who cares who did it? <laughs> Some people might. <laughs> it's the the lines of the lines. Yeah. Okay. To the to the naked eye, mm-hmm. it's a wonderful piece of art and a great piece of memorabilia. Whether you like Tim or you just like coasters or red or green things or yeah or festive times or festive stuff. Yeah. Ando, here's the thing. Online is one exciting front of the business, mm-hmm. and we do do a lot of sales, all our sales at HamishAndy.com. Yeah. But. Getting out and about in people's faces is another exciting part of the okay. business. I'm not going door to door, mate. This weekend, mm-hmm. you would be an attendee at the Spring Racing Carnival of Horses yes. in Melbourne. Now, at this Carnival of Horses, mm. there is also another prince among men playing. Who's that? Timothy Amatic. <laughs> he has got a gig at Stakes Day on Saturday. Really? I hereby appoint you mm-hmm. as my chief sales rep. For Tim and Maddock Autograph Enterprises, I am giving you a batch of no less than 20. I would like less. <laughs> 20 <laughs> autographs. Can I have less? To take with you and a, bookies, and a bookies Ten. cash trolley. 10 I sold. Okay, 10, 10 we have agreed on. Okay. 
You were to sell them for no less than twenty dollars. <laughs> because this is the spring racing edition. edition. Okay, wow, well, they look. Why do they look different? It's Tim and Maddox autograph yeah. and a lucky horseshoe. <laughs> A picture of a horseshoe next to it. Now, who, Twenty bucks cash. Who do you want me selling? Celebs. Next? Celebs. They've got the money. It's festival prices. Okay. Everything's more expensive at a festival. And this is a horse festival. And when you hit celebs specifically. Any celebs specifically? Jay Hawkins. <laughs> Jennifer Hawkins. Would be nice if she bought one. Yep, sure. I think that'd add a bit of that'd spruce things up. <laughs> so should we I mean she wouldn't endorse it, she'd just buy it. Well, we were at, I was at the races the other weekend yeah. and didn't specifically say hi to her, but I yep. did catch her eye for a moment mm. and she sort of raised an eyebrow like a bit of, got any autographs on you? And I had, <laughs> and I had to purse my lips and go, no, Jen, I forgot to bring any. And then she was pretty sad. I didn't yeah. see her for the rest of the day. Okay. So that's your sales lead. <laughs> now I want you to go and close that deal. Okay. Okay. Sure. So tomorrow, Tim and Maddox playing tomorrow. Yep. And so mill about where he's playing, but, in, to, but mostly in the lead up too, because I think they're. Yeah. I'm not going to mill about where he's playing. I'm sure he hates us. I'm sure <laughs> he loves I'm gonna, us. I'm going to keep a distance from Omatic. He's. And he, I'll try and move some units for you. I know for a fact that he's very proud of the fact he can inspired I bend, us. Can I bend on price? Absolutely not. I might. See you Monday. <laughs> see you Monday for a sales report. I'll see you after this for Jazz Chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I've got some very important business to take up with you, Ando. Yeah. People might have been listening on Friday when I gave Andy a sales mission. Yeah. I run a company that sells Tim and Maddox autographs. Yes. Uh, it's a As very done successful by business, and it connects fans of Tim and Maddox autograph with his autograph. Yeah. I... <laughs> 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 that's our that's our mission statement. I gave you Ando. Did I give you ten? Yeah, ten. I gave you ten precious features and pieces yep. of merchandise to take to the races on the weekend yep. to sell to celebrities. Spring racing carnival at edition. the huge inflated festival price of twenty dollars. Yep. Now mm. I want a sales report. And uh, please come in. Come in. Have a seat. <laughs> Welcome to the boss's office. Thanks. Nice to be here. I am your boss in this capacity because I run um, autographomatic enterprises. Mm. What do we do? We sell Timomatic autographs. Who do we sell them to? Everyone, because yep. everyone would want one. How do we sell them? Mm. Normally because, online. Yes, normally online. Mm. But how do we have access to the autograph? Because the founder of the company has a gift and yep. he is able to do Timomatic's autograph. And he's not Timomatic. <laughs> and we don't know who he is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or isn't. Yeah. But what we do know is that it's a perfect autograph. Yep. It is Tim and Maddox autograph. doesn't yep. matter whose hand was holding what pen. It's a wonderful business, and a lot of people have been buying them at hamishandy.com. I think they're still seven ninety nine at the moment for the Christmas edition. Yep. Christmas but- edition, get it in red with a green dot, get it in green with a red dot. Yep. Not up to you, up to me. <laughs> but you certainly will get one of those two options. Yes. Um, you also launched a spring racing carnival edition. I did. I did. Yeah. Now, Because ex- he played on the weekend. That's true, in, in Melbourne. Melbourne. And I sort of thought there's going to be a lot of Tim and Maddox fans milling about. Silly to miss this opportunity. You're going to be at the races. This is on Friday, I said. Yep. I'll give you, I'll make, I'll see if I can talk to our suppliers mm. and see if I can get to you in time, yeah. 10 special racing editions yeah. with his autograph and an upside-down horseshoe. Mm. As done by you. As done. Yeah. <laughs> Just done. Okay. Just completed. As completed, yeah. As completed by the doer of the autograph. Yes. You took them along to the races. Yep. You had specific instructions to give them to celebrities. Yep. Where's your sales report? Where's my 200 bucks? Sold out. There's the good news. So you got 200 bucks. <laughs> no, sold I, out. I did tell you, 20 bucks a piece, festival yeah. pricing. Yes, I sold out. I had to negotiate on price a couple of times. Who with? Chris Smith, the Meyer ambassador. He's doing it right for himself, isn't he? Yeah, he wanted. He teamed up with Billy Slater, the uh, NRL player. Yep, Storm player. Yeah, and they wanted two for 20. That's half price, Ando. And at that stage, we don't I was discount for celebrities. We we price it up for celebs. I was moving just towards the back end of the day, and I just thought, yeah, better get these ones off before you know Spring Racing Carnival finishes, and we've True. we can't sell them. At were all. they on their way to watch Tim and Maddox play? <laughs> I don't think they were. But they could tell it was in the air. Yeah, they could tell that was in the air. So, so you sold them for half price. Those two. You got you got Those two charmed are. by two good looking muscly men. No, that's what we, I'm it was hearing. A stock run out sale. Chris Smith any batted other, his eyelashes. Any other you. ad? Stock run out sale. Others? Was, no premium brand. It was harder. You never hear Ferraris. Ferraris. <laughs> half price. Scratch and dent sale. End of financial year. Yes. Fl- no fleet buyers. Don't uh, buy a fleet of Ferraris. Um, well, it's, it's tougher than you think, mate. No, it's not. <laughs> well, because I've sold hundreds online. I 
tens. I've, I've got a couple of examples here. I recorded a few of them. Um, tell you what, this was a surprise of Look, the day. Celebrities do get a lot of stuff for free, but this mm. is why I wanted them to pay because you wanted, it'll, it'll mean more. You wanted me to take down the big fish, Jennifer Hawkins. Yep. Um, and she wasn't even there. You couldn't find her. Couldn't find her. So check your radar, man. <laughs> well, she, I don't think she was there. So unfortunately, um, I went to the next best thing, um, Nick Maxwell. He's the ex uh, captain for, um, for Pines, Colling, yes. Collingwood Football Club in the AFL. He was actually an easier sale. Have a listen. Here with ex Collingwood uh, captain Nick Maxwell. Maxi, picture this. You've had a great day. You've won a lot of money. You'd want to walk away with a memento for the day, wouldn't you? Uh, well, cash is good enough. Do I have? Yes, he, he said yes. Do I have an offer for you? <laughs> Would you like to walk away with a limited edition autograph of one of Australia's greatest performers? Who is it? Tim Amatic. Oh yes, I would. I love one. Yes, it's twenty bucks. You got change? Yeah, I got change. Yes, fifty. It, Hamish has done the autograph. Yeah, but um, you know this. I've heard about it. Oh great! So actually, this is a yeah, I do. This is a legitimate sale. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll listen to the radio. I oh, know. Yeah. I got you. Gee, actually, Hamish, you've actually got a legitimate sale. Well done. <laughs> The only Always one of the been day, one of my favourite players. The only, the only one of the day that I didn't have to lie to them by not... Well, can I just say, Jack, I mean, is this just me, or did my head of sales sound a little tipsy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maxi, uh, big day of the races. What do you got? I got to change. Well, oh, I got to change. I did enjoy uh, a beer as I... As You're I, on a business as trip. As I, as I Stop worked. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Keep he, your head on. The other, we have a problem though, Ham, um, Ham uh, boss. We have a problem because this is not what I want to hear. We don't have the full amount of money. Who stiffed us, Doctor Chris Brown? You're joking, a doctor. Have a listen to this. I'm here with uh, Dr. Chris Brown. I know you're just here, I don't want to bother you, but I've got a, um, I've got a product opportunity for you today. Pitch it to me, what a game. Sure. How would you like to walk away with a genuine autograph from one of Australia's greatest performers today? Are we, are we talking big time here? Like Tim Amatic. <laughs> 20 bucks. If you want to buy this, Tim Amatic's autograph, $20. I'll give you 30 for it right now. Will you? Are you willing to give me 30 for it? I'll give you 30 for it right now. Uh, really? Because yeah. I will take the money. I'll give, you <laughs> I'll give you 30. Yes! He never gave me 30. Well, what's... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's rewind for a second. Mm. First of all, it sounded like he laughed when you said Tim Amatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At that stage, a good salesman should have gone, all right, is Mate, he serious? He's... And then he offered 50% more yeah. than the price. I'll explain what happened straight after this, but I feel like we have to call... So did he take the autograph? I'll explain after this. This is not what I needed for a Monday morning. I've got other stuff to do at my business. <laughs> And on the weekend at the Melbourne Cup, Stakes Day, Tim Amatic was playing. Yep. Sent you along to get some celebrities. Yes. And um, I got you, I sent you along with 10 autographs yep. to sell for 20 bucks a piece, which is a hugely inflated price, but yep. A, they're celebrities, and B, it's festival pricing. I sold, well, I sold 10. But not for the right price. Received the money for, for nine. nine. And the main culprit, a guy that sort of flaunted the system, yeah. was Dr. Chris Brown at the yeah. end. He was sort of laughingly throwing cash at us. Yeah. He, yelling, he, he, he was genuine about it. Have a listen to this. Tim and Maddie's autograph, $20. I'll give you 30 for it right now. Really? Are you willing to give me 30 for it? I'll give you 30 for it right now. So then what happened, Ham? I'll give you 30 for it right, right now. now. So I was sitting there talking to Dr. Chris Brown. I said, oh, cool, man. Can you just grab me that 30? And he's like, what, right now? And this is after you stopped recording? Yeah. And he's, I said, right. He said, right now. I said, yeah, yeah. And he goes, I don't have any cash on me. I said, mate, it's the races. Of course you do. Yeah. Give us your he's, watch. And, <laughs> and he says. No, you've got to go loan shark on him. He says to me, no, no, let me just get the cash for you. And I said, well, you can't have the autograph there. I'm not going to do. Thank you. I'm not going to do what Trav did. Yep. When, when, when we, we sent a, a gold, gold colored watch, watch for a fake. Because we thought we were getting three <laughs> dragon eggs from Game of Thrones. Yeah. It was a huge duping. <laughs> exactly. And ever since then, we've sort of had an unwritten rule on the show. You, you're not allowed to dupe us. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't want to do a Trav. Yeah. Um, Who would? And so, but I said, look, it's these are limited edition. It's only good for the, the racing carnival. Do you want me to hold on to it? Otherwise, I'll have to move it to someone else. He's like, no, no, hold on to it. I'll be back with 30. This used to happen when I worked in electronics. Uh, We'd say, look, you got to the end of the day. Mm. Otherwise, I'd take the hold sticker off. You should have lay-bied it. Well, well, how? Get his watch. (laughs) Get some collateral. Anyway, he never came back with the 30. Uh, I looked for him towards the end of the day. And by then, most of the uh, other customers had left. 
Uh, so I couldn't actually... He's cost us 30. He's cost us 30 bucks. So did you get the rest of the money? No. So let's call him. No, but I mean from the other nine. Because yes. we've been mucking around and talking about it, but I haven't actually seen the cash. Thank you very much. There it is. Yes. Thank you so much. That is... <laughs> I did gamble a little bit of it. A little skinny. <laughs> Slightly light <laughs> envelope. <laughs> I, well, I took out my fee. You, there is no fee. Yes, You're just it is my sales manager. Yeah, well, it's what, it's sales managers don't get a, a salary? Not in my company. <laughs> okay, call Dr. Chris <laughs> Brown. And no, I'll deal with you in a second, Lee. I'm going to deal with a customer that's ripped me off. God, this is tough running a business. Exactly. Stay with on. all my overheads. <laughs> Do you want to speak or do you want to speak? Oh, don't worry. Hello, Chris speaking. Hey, Brown. <laughs> yeah. It's Blake. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. I think you know no. exactly what this is about. Oh. <laughs> you got something that ain't yours, Brown. You got a dirty 30 burning a hole in your pocket that's meant to be in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Tim uh, Matic. Tim Matic, yeah. Damn He's, him. He can't I mean, help him you. autograph and Listen, my love you, of the man and You made a verbal said. commitment to buy mm. a Tim Matic autograph for 30 dollars. Yeah. You then vanished. I couldn't find you, Chris. <laughs> I'm here as the CEO of Tim Matic, a graph incorporated slash the enforcer slash the sergeant at arms mm. to formally not threaten you, wink, into giving me the money. <laughs> I'm I'm just going to look out the front of my house to make sure you're not there because I know this. No, you're not there. That's a relief. Yeah, you do um, that. I'm out the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently. You know, I'm unscrewing your cat flap and I'm crawling through. <laughs> I woke up the next morning and and it was a mixture of emotions um, because first of all there was regret over not exchanging the money, but there was immense sadness over the fact I didn't have a Tim Matic autograph in my possession because Andy snatched it back when I didn't produce the cash. I did. So, my sales manager. Yeah. 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 Well, you can write this wrong. Um, just send us the cash <laughs> and you'll get your autograph. I Look, I will do that uh, you. That's because great. my life without Tim Matic is, is not a life at all. Yeah, so. and you know I've done the autograph, don't you? Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> is that a legal disclaimer? Are you just doing that so you don't get sued? I was wondering you, you, whether you heard it or not. I said it. Um, yeah, great. Perfect. We have a verbal contract. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Dr. Chris Brown. Hey, one other question. Do you have a cat flap at your house? Uh, I do. How spooky that I guess so. <laughs> not really. He's a vet. You're a vet. <laughs> it would be spooky if you were in it. Yes. So. It's got a budgie <laughs> hole? No. Not a thing. All, all sizes. <laughs> all, all, thanks, Dr. Chris. I hope you are. I hope you so Obviously, this is the segment uh, where I blow something wide open, a, a half-truth, an injustice, a conspiracy, yep. a cover-up, a head-scratcher, a... But pile of trash. Yeah, 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 exactly. Pile of garbage, pile of nonsense. Yeah. Um, a fib, a white lie, a black lie, a green lie, blue lie. What about if someone's just scraping a little bit off the top for themselves? Skimming. Yep. Very against that. Okay. Very much against <laughs> that. Still, there's the, still the rule that you can't blow one of us wide open, you or me? Um, I would love to blow you wide open for skimming some of the profits off the Tim and Matic autographs <laughs> from the weekend. That's what I was going to tell you. unfortunately, you do have immunity under the rules <laughs> I invented. But before all that, Tim Matic, I mean... I've been selling his autograph all year. I have a gift. I have a talent. I'm able to sell Tim Matic's autograph. Uh, not, the talent's not selling them. The talent's doing the talent's them. doing them, and I'm able to sell my art. <laughs> Obviously, Ando and I, you and I are about to take a six-month break yes. before coming back to do Drive next year in July. Yep. What will happen to the business? We will deal with that next. <laughs> Andy, with you. It's our last show of the year, Haim. We sit here in the staff kitchen. Exclusive <laughs> VIP venue yes. of the staff kitchen. We've, um, we've apologies a... to the rest of the company because we have taken over the staff kitchen. But thank you very much for those people coming down to, to see our last show, Ham. Also dressing up semi-formal yeah. because we do have a tasting later on from Brent the Mix Master. But as you said before we went to that song... Stuff to wrap up, Ando. Yeah. One of the big things of the year has, of course, been um, my side business, mm. um, Agraphoma- Autographomatics Enterprises. Um, which is where I sell uh, Tim and Maddox's autograph to fans. Mm. Um, they're always wrapped to get them. I'm always happy to do them. Not always. Um, it's been a real Mixed. roller coaster of a business, Ando. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and round of applause, yet to be sued. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, no, my legal department's as shocked as you guys are. <laughs> but I remember back, I mean, earlier in the year, I was just a, I was a young boy who didn't have a talent. Mm. And then... Something, some call it God, some just call it divine intervention. Mm-hmm. Something spoke Same to me thing. and I realised I had a gift. Yeah. 
I realized I had a, a creative gift and I could do Tim and Maddox autograph. Mm. And from there boomed a huge online business. <laughs> for those who've just joined us again for the first time, welcome. You'll be so lying. confused. But um, we look back <laughs> at, at a year of Tim and Maddox autographs. Just need you to describe over the phone how you do signature just so I can sign it. So no one will know it's not you. Is it a big T? Yeah, so it's T with the, the top kind of stroke is slanted up. Yep. I would like to launch on the show. If you send 10 bucks in, mm. I'll send you out Tim O'Matic's autograph. <laughs> it's H. Blake's Tim O'Matic autograph bonanza. Yeah, Amy Janani. Janani. Com, if it. you want Tim O'Matic's autograph for 10 bucks. Amy, hey, do you have a trestle table down outside at the supermarket yep. uh, in the food court today? What's your name? Gary. Gary, come here. How are you going, Gary? Look at that. Feel the quality of that card. Good quality. Yeah, good quality. That's good quality. And that's Tim O'Matic's autograph. And you've got a green one, you've got an orange one. Ten bucks. <laughs> you've done it. You think I've done it? What's, it's the, good what's the diff, though? I mean, it, it, an autograph's an autograph. You've seen his face. Getting caught up in the excitement. Buy five, get one free <laughs> at the moment. How what? many orders have been placed about? About over 100. Over 100. This financial year, yes. which is an infinite increase on last financial year. So, so if you want to invest. So 100. I've counted 12 complaints. <laughs> That's not you're, bad. You're, really not, you're running at a 12% complaint. Don't forget we've got Tim and Maddie in there complaining. What are the current prices at, Jez? I think it might be, is it still at $6.99? It's still at $6.99. $6.99, yeah. uh, special price. Sometimes complaints, I always like to turn those into satisfied customers. Okay, every what about com- this one from Rory? Every complaint's I- a sales opportunity, I've always said. I bought my two medical order three weeks ago and it still doesn't come. What the heck? How'd you like another one? <laughs> See? <laughs> every complaint can be a sales opportunity. That's true. And I'm happy to announce they're all now $7.70. I have lodged the trademark for the name Timomatic, the visual pattern of the signature as an artwork <laughs> of Timomatic, and the concept of Tim O'Matic as a performer. Those have been lodged with the Australian Trademark Commission. <laughs> it will take about two weeks for them to go through. So yeah, by the time we get back from holidays, you're looking at the owner of the Tim O'Matic trademark. To celebrate <laughs> this wonderful day. <laughs> Buy a hundred, get a hundred free. <laughs> oh, you heard me. <laughs> we only had one person take that upper up, but I was happy to do the 200 <laughs> autographs. Now, now was, hey, we should point out, um, Tim O'Matic, obviously a uh, great sometimes singer, performer, dancer, judge. Yep. Um, Quadruple threat. Yeah. Because uh, he's an actor too, because of his film clips. Yep. And um, he is obviously not wrapped with the fact that you've been... From time to time, he, was, he would sort of dip into the conversation on Twitter. Hey, guys, where's my cart? And, you know, I had a pretty firm line, yeah, which is your... buzz off. This is my business. <laughs> okay. um, you know, you, you've got nothing to do with this. And what about, well, we would have something to do with it, you'd think, because yep. obviously... Certainly the trademarking aspect, um, the trademark office, I, I still don't have the trademark. No, no. Um, unfortunately, for, for, for Tim Maddox autograph or the visual pattern... Because he owns Or the concept of him... Inherently. Well, he, doesn't, he hasn't applied for the trademark, yeah. but that's certainly the sticking point yeah. um he's the sticking point there he's he's sort of contesting so, that. so what are you going to do with what are you going to do with the well business? we're taking six months off ando yeah. and we're not going to be in the office and it means i have to pass the baton to someone now is it someone in this someone's put up their hand in the well audience here, we've got it? i i hope you understand what you're getting into because it's long hours mm. it's very low reward mm-hmm. apart from all the money um, <laughs> it's it's a it's it is a grueling job. I mean, if any, has anyone in here bought an autograph? Have we got? We got two 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 guys right at the front. Two three, <laughs> three customers. Okay, yeah. I would like to give it to a customer, but there's one other person I would like to give it to. Yeah. I've I've thought about this a lot, mm-hmm. and I think he's got the kind of dedication and um, customer an aim to please customers that I that I love and that yeah. I've always embodied at my company, Ando. Mm. He's waiting outside. I'd can like you do to... the autograph, though? I'm going to see if you can or not. Yeah. That's the sticking point. Would you please welcome Tim O'Matic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the real Tim oh O'Matic is in the house. <laughs> we have the real Tim O'Matic. Mate. He's answered my... <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Thank we you made... very much for joining us. This is incredible. No I'm, in, I'm in awe. No problem. This is Thank fed- you. But you take a seat. Oh, We've got to go to a song so I can collect my thoughts. And then, right. then they're handing over the business straight well, after this. Well, it's not a guarantee yet, Tim. I've got to, <laughs> I have to <laughs> see if you can do the autograph. Okay. okay, okay. More of Tim Amatic after this song. It's amazing. For happy hour. Happy hour. Hamish Sandy with you. 
And if you've just tuned in... Huge moment, Ando. Well, historical moment, Ham, because um, you have been selling Tim O'Matic's autograph the <laughs> yes. entire year, as done by you. Uh, we were yep. unsure whether he was up for it or not. And you've just... Said I've, you're picked, gonna... I've decided to pass on the business because yeah. we're going to be off for six months. We're coming back in July to do Drive. And, and a surprise. much like Rupert Murdoch <laughs> going, you know, maybe it will go to Lachlan, maybe it will go to someone else. Yeah. Uh, I've picked my predecessor. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry, pick my successor. Sorry, yeah. I'm his predecessor. <laughs> <laughs> and I've decided to pick Tim Amatic. As did, as, wow. As, as did Rupert Murdoch. Appreciate Thank that, you, man. man. I love what you've been doing with the autograph yourself. <laughs> now, I got, I got to say this. Now, okay. this is, I didn't realize how deep this has gotten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is serious deep. Yes. To the point, you don't know this yet. It's to the lot. point, <laughs> you have. A few weeks ago, I was signing an autograph. Mm. And you have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> I won't sue if you and don't. And the people that, that came up were like, "No, that's that's not that's not the official one. That's not the Hamish and Andy one. Yeah, Where's that one? Freebie? Don't don't, like, such, don't flood the market with freebies. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, that's so. the first thing you got to understand about this business. All right. This is not a charity. Not um, a charity. This is, this I can see that. And now, Tim Amatic, okay. uh, I'd personally like to apologise on okay. behalf of both of us because I have questioned. The <laughs> legitimacy, the, the ethics, and the, the ethics, and the sure. morally yeah. and the legalities of this whole process <laughs> over the last year. I was just—I mean, I—I I didn't finish university. I'm right. not great with my hands. I'm not really good around the house. I can't okay. really fix anything. So for me, you to cannot have a dance, skill, you cannot sing. For me to have a skill, yeah. <laughs> it probably went to my head a little bit. And for me to be able to do your autograph so well, it just. I thought I was my calling, essentially, <laughs> to do your autograph. And it's turned into quite the business. You know, we don't want to see it die. Um, but be, uh, before no, I don't. hand over, be the, you know, all the, the documents, the legals, okay. etc. I mean, what do you, what Ando, you got here? Oh, you don't want to get it up? I'll just show you. I mean, you bring up the box, okay. Ando. That's where I keep all the business clip, stuff. Um, i got a whole box full of wow. stuff. Yeah, there's, there's, a there's a file of facts in here. If Hamish doesn't know how to use technology. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, a labelling machine. This right. is the customer list so far. Yeah. I th we, oh, know, wow. We've got hundreds, right? Yeah. Wow. So these are the people. This would be my first point of, from a marketing perspective. Yep. Yeah. I would just say to you, get on the email straight up and hit these people, see if they want to restock. Another okay, one. Because right. they're your existing customers. <laughs> do you, do you, when people have memorabilia normally restock, I mean, yeah. do you want the update? I don't know. Yeah, but do, it's, yeah do I change it up? It's like a to... car dealer. You know how if you buy a car, they never leave you alone? Yeah. Because they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got they're you. They're changing over? We got you. So what do we got here? Like, I saw a buy four at one stage. So yeah, Elle, Elle Gilbert. Yeah. Okay. She's got four. I'm going to hit, hit so her up you straight, know away. That there's, <laughs> straight away. You know there's money in that honey yeah. pot there. So that's that's your client list. That comes complimentary, obviously, when I hand over the business. But right. before I what else, Tim? give you all this, all the you know the legals and the stats, a couple of things yep. you need to know. Right. Obviously, we're trying to trademark the autograph at the moment because, from a legal standpoint, company-wise, we would like to own the trademark. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good to know. There's there's some guy that's there's a guy opposing it. Well, the, the trademark office says that one of the issues is this guy Timo Magic. <laughs> or do you know someone like that, Timo Magic? No, no. Tim. Oh, Tim Omaji. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Oh, that, that, that's my actual name. <laughs> ah, that's okay. <laughs> okay. That is right. actually me. Well, that, well, okay, so just a heads up that you got some legal troubles with yourself. <laughs> 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 You're currently opposing this business, <laughs> according to the trademark so, office. Right, yeah. they, right. They cited that he might have a problem with it. You coming on board would be a huge get. Boost. <laughs> we would hope. We would <laughs> hope that we had to push it through. Yeah, yeah, it means now as a business we can write to the trademark people to be like, yeah. guess what, Tim? No, Margie, he's so <laughs> fine with it. So that's part a, of the team. That's a huge coup. The, okay. Probably the only thing left, Ando. Well, just to see. I mean, if you if you wouldn't mind doing one, <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, I'd like to see it. Well, I mean, I'd like to see you have a go. Okay. Yeah, okay. And I, so let's, <laughs> let's, I mean, let's remember, Tim. Maybe you had, you don't have. The business yet. I think this is probably this, the fast. This, is, the this is sort of like when Tim Cook sat down before Steve Jobs and Jobs went, make an iPhone. Just to see if he could do it. <laughs> I've yeah. never been more terrified okay. to do my own autograph in my life. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to Tim put two hands for this. Yeah, Tim makes putting his microphone down. Interesting. Instead of going the diamond shape, I usually go flush. Okay. <laughs> 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 Don't let that throw you off, Tim. Not bad. It's How not was bad. That? He's good at it. <laughs> Exactly How is that? It's not bad. Okay, what's it's wrong with it? It's not bad. I, what are these two dots over here? What's this umlaut? It's just the extra little bang, bang, oh, bang. That's what the new business is. A little bit of spice. <laughs> and See, also, that's the update. <laughs> that's the update. That's the new version. This is the Timomatic 6 Plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the T, the, yeah. the length of the T. Uh -huh. And I want to be a stickler, but I wouldn't mind seeing another one. 
<laughs> Just with a longer top stroke. A, a longer, the a longer That's top stroke. That's sort okay. of how okay. the customers like them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tim O'Matic's Tim now doing his autograph. That, that's again. long enough. That's, that's a good start. So it's really good. That's nice. Great. That's really nice. I'm going to leave it at that. Can I just show you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please. I, I wanna, please wait, wait. do. I don't want to get in your face too much. Uh, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is sort of how it's done. This is what, I mean, in a few months' time, once yeah. you're pumping out 20, 30 a day of these, this is where you're going to be at. Okay. Hames now having a crack. Uh. <laughs> wow. They are bloody close, everyone. <laughs> what does it feel like to see someone else do your autograph? That's look, insane. Look at that. That, <laughs> that is such a trip. <laughs> you did it faster than I did it. What? That's not right. Well, with a bit of practice, you'll get there, kid, and that's why I picked you to take over. Oh, Tim Manic, Tim Manic, Manic now runs the autograph it. business. <laughs> <laughs> What a brilliant sport, Legend. mate. Thank you Legend. so much. Thank you, brother. It's the happy hour. Appreciate it. Straight after this, oh. we're going to play the last game of Am I Naked. For those out there that um, want to play along, definitely join in now because we're about to hear nude people, whether we like it or not, on the air. It's happy hour. Already a, a historical show, Ham, where we found out that you were passing on the Timomatic autograph business yeah. to Timomatic. The only person that you think can do the uh, the autograph, not as good as you, but nearly as good as you. Do you know what? Though? I mean, he'll get there. He's he's a great kid. And I love his attitude. Um, <laughs> um, his new song, Delilah, is online now for anyone who wants to go check that out. That's a beautiful announcement. I've also got a special announcement. What's that? I'm handing over the business to him at midnight tonight. Okay. Which means we've got a few more hours mm -hmm. for people to log on and get ready, guys, because I'm going to show this live. And feel free to make really... You don't have to keep your big noises to yourself. Like, really go nuts. Uh, if you want. Just give you the, people give the to log on reaction. to buy the last Tim O'Matic autographs done by me, done in a gold pen. I feel that's a little put on. I feel 20, that's a little put on. I feel that... Twenty nine ninety five. dollars Laughter laugh, laugh is the <laughs> best sign. <laughs> You know, you know you've priced it correctly. Laughter is the best sign when of someone a proper laughs at you. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is a very good sign in business that you've priced it correctly. <laughs> anyway, we've got to keep moving on. It's time. Twenty nine ninety five limited uh, gold pen, and you can see there that's there's genuine speckles around yeah. the autograph too. Well, genuine speckles. You just don't dot. Come on, let's not oversell it. Anyway, time the last four. ditch special. You, not only can you, do you want to give that another plug? Oh, my business. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ando. Uh, yeah, as we mentioned earlier in the show, um, I'm wrapping up my business selling Tim O'Matic's autograph. I will wrap it up at midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm handing it over to Tim O'Matic himself. Um, he will struggle to get it off the ground, but um, he's got <laughs> all of summer to work on his autograph. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, very special limited edition final autographs done in gold with a bit of extra art on them. Mm. Uh, or will be available until midnight tonight at the website. What's the price? Twenty nine ninety five. So it might have dropped <laughs> since. In the no, twenty nine ninety five. That remains. includes postage sure. and GST. Um, if you've got money to burn, well, I don't um, think we charge GST on them because they're not good. <laughs> <laughs>